Copy that. Paste that there. Copy that. Place that there. Replace that. Close that. Back out of here. Go down to here. Let's try this. Oh, I see what I forgot to... Uh... There's one other thing I got to copy over. Would help if I had the tile set copied over. There we go. All right, so this is a fresh install with the old, the normal raw is removed because that's something I need to do. All right, let's try this. If you look very closely in here, you should see the little models are definitely toads. All right, let's 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 create a new world, shall we? I've been covering for your manager and others at works, but it's all right now. Well, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, you haven't missed too much over the past two weeks. Uh, today is Mario Day, so I, I was doing a little bit of troubleshooting, but uh, we are trying to play... The Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom mod. See, now that just broke. Completely. <laughs> um. Because, like, here's the thing, right? I had it working, but I didn't even think about the... Yeah, replace those files. Let's try this. And let's try this. Are you working now? Seems to be working now. Let's just try generating a small world. See if it does it. Yeah, it's still crashing. It still doesn't like the... Um, like anything past like 80 years and the game crashes. Which is still not ideal. So let's just try... A small world with everything on medium. And I'll just pause it at like 50 years. But it doesn't make it that far half the time. Because I did remove the raws and only use their raws. So we'll see. Let's see. How did this do? That seems to mostly be Goombas. Goombas? The bubble, bubloob, the hills of juice. I'm definitely seeing uh, improvements. Yeah, so world, it still doesn't like world gen, but that seems to be kind of fine. Okay, there's humans. That's bad. Why are there humans here? Unless there's humans supposed to be here, which I don't think there are. That equator. What about it? Oh, this, oh wow, this actually is kind of like a north-south world. But all these guys are stuck over on their own island, so that's no fun. You don't think they're supposed to be? I thought there's supposed to be humans there, though. Because there's, like, Mario. Come on, let's generate another one. See what we get. Mole person fortress. Excuse me? <laughs> that doesn't seem right.
Are there mole people in Mario? I mean, this is generating some weird shit. I will say that. There's little moles in Mario? I guess, yeah, but I wouldn't really count them as mole people. I thought that they would have their own name. We're still getting humans, though. Hmm. Frog people. And no dwarves or goblins? Well, I mean, I haven't seen any, but there's also, like, no spots where they could be. So. Let's let that continue. And it crashed. I mean, Mario is human. Air quotes. Let's just generate a medium one, and I'll just stop it when it hits year 50. Nope, didn't get past year 3. How's this? Dark Koopa. There we go. Koopa Pits. Koopa Pits. So far, so good. That one just says the forest retreat, so that makes me worried that those are elves. But this is out on an island. Let's check these. Yeah, because these should all be like Goombas and Shy Guys. Spooky little shy guys. I don't see any dwarves, though, so that's good. What about these? That's a weird spot for those to be. The Bumpity Hamlet. Mario is a demigod? Uh, he's certainly an intergalactic time traveler. Um, and he also doesn't fucking age. Because it should only have new stuff? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't like that world anyway, so. <laughs> and the game keeps crashing, so. Here. Um, since that looks good, we'll, we'll start officially here. Apologies for the troubleshooting, but, you know. Comes with the territory of fucking around with stuff in versions where it's not supposed to be. Because this is technically supposed to only run on, like, 44.12. But I was like, you know what? I wonder if I could just make this work on the current version. So I'm trying. We'll see. Because I'd rather just make it work on the current version if I can. All right. Let's try that again. How's this? Shy Guy Helixes. Ooh. Shy Guys genuinely creep the heck out of me, though. Especially, like, as a little child. Those are all dark Koopa pits and tombs. Dark Koopa forts. The Dugan towns. See, here's the problem. Is my Mario lore not the best? Dark Goombas? Or just Goombas? Or what are those? Friendly Goombas? I like this big spooky area. The Undignified Sludge. That's a good name. I think we might have a keeper here, folks. I'm going to try and continue it. Hopefully it doesn't crash. And I'm just going to immediately pause. 55 years? I think that might be us right here. We got mole people forts. We got uh, mountain halls of Ividotvidtog. Whatever that is. Mole person forts. We got a little northern volcano, which I don't think I'm going to go for. Well, we got plenty of fun little biomes. Yeah, mole people. Those little fuckers from Super Mario World. There's a something tower down here. It's a shy guy tower. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to know what they're going to do with my dead corpses. Dugan Hamlets. Indigo water. 
This big old purple area. I like that, though. I like that a lot. And all these big jungles. I don't really want to be on the side of a mountain, though. But there's plenty of fun areas down here. I'm just kind of making sure there's no dwarves. What do we think, chat? Is this world a keeper? Do we think it's a keeper? For our first attempt at the uh, Super Mario Brothers mod? Continue. Pause. Use world as currently sits. Made it to 77 years, too. Keeper. A capper. I'm kind of glad that I let it continue for a couple of YOLO seconds because we got this nice little highway down here. Look at this. These little hamlets. Now, the important question is, do we want to look at legends at all, or do we just want to try playing? <laughs> I need to look what a, Pata a Patania is, because I actually don't know what that is. What these people even are. My Super Mario Brothers lore is uh, not the greatest. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's accept it. Done. Please don't crash. Yay! We made it. All right. So, histories of adverse and industry. Definitely fort mode. No real interest in adventuring in this. It's the plant people. Is that what they're called? <laughs> you can tell. I'm very well versed in Super Mario Brothers lore. Um. Dream Demon? Excuse me? Asir the Incinerated was a dream demon. The only one of its kind was associated with nightmares and dreams. It settled in the prairie of stroking. Fought with a Goomba and defeated it. According to Google. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who's uh, not super well-versed in this stuff. Sedme, the, car the carnivorous shade, was a deity that occurs in the myths of the kingdom of romancing, most often de depicted as a male star sprite, and was associated with the night. We got a star sprite goddess, it occurs in the myths of the kingdom of romancing. Galka was most often depicted as a female star sprite and was associated with stars. I was unaware that you could have male and female stars. I always thought that they were just stars. Is that like a star with lips? I need to know what a Shiverian is. Shiverian? My Mario lore is not that good. Oh, it's like the weird North things. From Mario. These guys. All seals with the big jackets. There's a bunch of those guys, apparently. Also, I never actually played uh, Super Mario Sunshine, so that would probably be why. Who oh, was a deity that occurs in the myths of the emancipation of puzzling. Ho oh, was most often depicted as a male shy guy. Was associated with the knight. Good stuff. Alright, well, I don't I'm not too too curious about this stuff. Just like diving into this briefly is plenty, but 
Pak Awi Hayo Puni, a sunny hour, was a legendary Paralucite bracelet. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is adorned with hanging rings of schist. Was created in Wicked Hell by Pilo Ilio Ololololoi. Parched post. Angry Sun, how horrifying. Dude, ang Angry Suns are like these, one of the scariest things in the world. Crystalline Irons? I'm very amused by the the sounds. So this was a legendary copper mask. It is sized for star sprites, and it is studded with well-crafted nickel. This object is adorned with hanging rings of blue garnet and menaces with spikes of pelagic clay. Pelagic clay. Angry Suns and the, the, the flying... So I didn't play Super Mario 2 until way later. And I've never actually gotten even remotely far into it. I've only ever played the first level. Um, I played it on an emulator years later. But I've played Mario... Like the first, the very first one, Mario World. Um, I've played Yoshi's Island. And I've played Mario Brothers 3. I think Mario Brothers 3 was probably my favorite, actually. If I, if I were to pick... like If someone were to ask me for a hot take favorite Mario games, probably Mario Brothers 3. I also played a bunch of Mario Maker, but... I never really got into any of the 3D Marios because I never owned the consoles for them. Okay, a Koopa Skull Totem. <laughs> Isn't that just like... Okay, for... hold on a second. Koopas have bones? That's my first question. <laughs> I thought they were mushrooms. Wait, no. Those are Goombas. Koopas are the... Okay, n never mind. Th those are... They're little turtles. Yeah, they... they, they, they I... I'm mixing up Goombas and Koopas. This is a Koopa Skull Totem. It received its name in Breached Glove from an unknown creature. In order to sanctify the Koopa Nokomek in Castle Breach by preserving a part of the body. It's not terrible. It's perfect. Just just wait until you see the little dwarfs, the, the little Koopa, or not Koopa, the little um, toad sprites. He hoo! That um, cooler made for me. They're terrifying. The aquamarine, the aquamarine rock was a legendary bauxite earring. It is encrusted with oval diorite camichons, and this object menaces with spikes of levin opal. On the item is an image of a of a high top, in gray in gray chalice donate. Shake shove the tax of cloistering. Gigopakokopo. Ah. It was a legendary calcium carbonate spear. It is encrusted with bands of alicite. It received its name from Pali Elio after defeating the boss piranha plant. Eric. The boss piranha plant, eh? Uh, so it's killed a boss piranha plant in 61. It's just, it's just ahead of Dry Bones, yeah, for the Koopa Skull Totem. I completely blanked on Koopas for a moment there. But I'm trying to think. The last time I played a Mario game was probably when Super Mario Maker 1 came out on the Wii U. So it's been a long time. And that was a while ago now. Civilizations and other entities. Let's see. We have the Thin Nourishment, a Koopa Civilization. We have the basic ca castle, which is a Koopa group from the dimensions of Dawn. The rare howls is a Kong civilization. Those are the, like, Donkey Kongs, like the monkeys, right? They're also a playable race, if I'm not mistaken. We have the Masonic Grizzle, a Kong group. The Embrace of Bulbulb. Bubbulb. The Virginal Embrace, uh-huh. We need to set this world on fire. This is not okay. This is not okay. <laughs> you 
You know, Trumpet Dog, I went from loving this to just absolutely hating this. The Aeroplay was a bubble group from the Dimensions of Dawn. Best group name, no doubt. It's... I mean, that's why I'm continuing to stare at this train wreck that has begun. Tepa, that's perfect, yes. Just, it's, it's on fire. Was a floro civilization? What's a floro? I need, like, Google, Im I, I need, like, fandom.com just open all the time. Floro. Uh, it's a city. Mario. Oh, it's the evil flowers from Mario Brothers 2. That eat you. Okay. The Honest Poet is also a floral group. The Kingdom of Romancing was a star sprite civilization. The Society was a star sprite group of the Dimensions of Dawn. I really hope that we have a... It would be unfortunate if there, were, if there was no toads in this world. Was a Brock? I'm sorry, what? What the fuck's a Brock? I've got the Super Mario- I've got the Mario Brothers wiki. I don't even- I've never seen this guy before. They first appeared in the Mario and Luigi's Bowser in Bowser's Inside Story. Don't need that. No, it's from the Mario and Luigi's games. Apparently. I never played any of these. Huh. Also, yes, a gym leader from Pokemon. You are correct. I do know that. I know who Brock is. Speaking of, can somebody make a Pokemon Mario... Like a Pokemon overhaul mod for... Or actually, could someone just make a Smash Brothers overhaul mod? I want to fight against a civilization of, like, Fire Emblem characters. You don't want to know what's behind their masks. Yeah, I kind of figured that, because I saw a legendary mask already, and it was a Shy Guy mask and named by a Shy Guy and stored in a Shy Guy place, so I kind of figured that. The first sparkles of the Fresh Lantern. The first sparkles. I just re read their name. Cool Fleeld was a Dugan civilization. A Dugan. What do they look like again? Dugans. These guys. Dugans are, are dog-like creatures from the Paper Mario series. There was just a sieve of humans? Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, the Brocks? I mean, the Brocks aren't a sieve of humans. The Brocks are like weird block people from Bowser's Inside Story. More Dugans? More Dugans? Piat Piatas? P P Piantas. Which are the plant people from Super Mario Bros. 2, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spitalier. Exactly. I'm, you know, I was not expecting to be, like, disturbed by this, but I'm slowly getting more disturbed by this. And then Shiverians, um, are these things. These guys from Mario Odyssey. I've also never played Odyssey, so... But I've barely even seen any streams of it. This mod just doesn't like generating worlds. Mole people. The dead quakes. Goombas? We found a Goomba sieves. Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? 
Oh, Fire Emblem would just be a sieve of humans. I mean, it would be a sieve of humans with, like, very big swords and mental problems. So it would just be a normal sieve of humans going to the correct. <laughs> uh... The game knows what... <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the, the the world gen's just like, what have you done to me? And kills itself after a bit. Actually, you know what it probably is? Is because I'm in a I'm in the current gen version, and there was issues where, um, like, various things that weren't supposed to be gen... Like, discovering language... Like, mountains would start discovering language and things. I'll bet you that bug is still active. Shy Guy sieves... The accrue amusement. The subordinate typhoon. I need I need to know what a P Lilo is. P Pililo? P Lilo. P P P Pilillo. What the fuck is that? I have no idea what these are. Also, from Mario and Luigi Dream Team. This was a game that my ex loved that I never played. It was on the DS, if I'm not mistaken. Man, I want to see this mod on the Steam version it's so fucking bad now. It just dawned on me, like, what this mod would look like with a full Mario tile set. It would get ripped off the Steam store like that. But I'll bet you we could get this shit on Nexus mods. <laughs> Alright, chat. So who's going to volunteer to make this tile set for the Steam version? <laughs> The mystical ears of the subordinate typhoon. I like the subordinate typhoon. That's such a good name. Another shy guy group. The waxy sparks. Bubbulb. So I'm not seeing any toads. Or are they called like bubbulbs or something? I doubt it. What the heck are bubbles, anyways? I mean, that's a Goomba. We definitely got Goombas. More mole people. A Goomba bandit gang? Oh, no. The sizzling salutes. They, and they haven't done anything in, like, 65 years. So not you. I, I know that feeling. Bub Ulb. Bub. Bub Ulb. What the fuck is a Bub Ulb? These things? From Paper Mart. They were indeed led by a, goo, 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 a, goom, a Goomba with useless in his name. More shy guys and I mean, should we try and embark? I guess we should try and embark, yeah. Underworld Spires in the time before time. The monitor fiend. Book inked. The roughness of barricading. Thrust a spire sli slayed from the underworld, naming it the Bastion of Books, and established a gateway between worlds in Breached Glove. All right. Well. At least this part all works. We're at war with literally everything. The thin nourishment or the emancipation of puzzling. I'm just going to look up who the thin nourishment and the emancipation of puzzling are. Just, just right quick. Whoopsies. The game just crashed. <laughs> this is off to a great start. I don't even know what just crashed it. Start playing Legends. Uh, I want sieves and other entities. The Thin Nourishment are a Koopa civilization. What was the other one? The Something of Emancipation. 
At least the vagina limb brace isn't playable. So I guess we're playing as Koopas. The Emancipation of Puzzling. Oh, they're there. Okay, so Shy Guy, this world has Shy Guys and Koopas. But I, only, I have Toad Sprites, which is a problem. In the bright and colorful world of the Mushroom Kingdom, there is only ultraviolence and grimdark hellscapes. I need to go check my blood sugar. Back in a sec. Yeah, I kind of want to try and gen a bigger world. And then if it fucks up, we can use this one. I'm thinking, like, try and gen a medium or a large world, because it, it adds so many races. I'm wondering if it's very possible that world that it just generates, like, not all of them in small worlds. Maybe it needs more sieves. Actually, yeah, let's try that. Let's create a new world. And just generate... Something with uh, very high numbers. Of <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Um, we'll keep it on s small, cause fucking no. Nah, let's 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 try let's try it medium, and I'll just hit the stop button as soon as we get in there. Well, it hasn't crashed yet. Fingers crossed, chat. Cross your fingers. Well, it crashed. It made it to 20 years. Let's try again. Let's give this five minutes. Nope, not that. That very high. And... The, only, the names only get worse. Oh, they're terrible, and I love it. The Goomba Fortress of Golem Pregum. Preg Pregan. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna abort that and say let's 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 stick with the small worlds. Yep, that didn't work. As streamer causes more apocalypses. But I, I do feel like we need more sieves. Let's try that. So far, so good. I don't mind this layout. Bob there there we go. We're getting bob bombs this time, because we didn't have bob bombs in that last one. Dark Koopas, good stuff. Shy Guy Helixes. Bub bulbs. Let's check those little towns. I can't see my mouse. We got Brocks. There's just so many different races. The Beanish? Yeah, I, we didn't even have these guys. Shy Guy Helixes? Bob bombs? Yeah, I already looked at those. What about these up top? Shivarians? I mean, that's fitting. That's where they're supposed to be, right? Goombas? More shy guys? Mole people? Dugans? Could let it... Con okay, and then it crashes. Yeah, basically, like, I have, like, 
not a lot of time in world gen. <laughs> that seems to be where the majority of the issues are. But yes, the names only do get worse. Yep, that one didn't last very long. If I gen on an older version and play on a newer one, then I'd need to install it again. <laughs> Medium world and very short history? Ah, uh, we could do, we could actually, we could do a very, let's try a large world and a very short history. Create new world. Let's try large and very short. Because that's, although that's only five years. It's only five years. Let's try large. Let's just try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen is it crashes, right? Just thinking about it. It's trying. It's forming stuff. It's placing stuff. Hasn't broken yet. We got cave populations. It's placing stuff. And stop it. Well, I mean, it's big. That's that's for sure. Vulbugen, the fingers of snapping. Snapping your neck. There's just straight up humans down there. Oh, there we go. I got toads. We got toads. We got toads. We got toads. Success. The question is, do I let it keep going? There's just... There's frog. There's so many races. I, I. Toads in different area codes. Yeah, right? There's humans. Please don't be dwarves. Shy guys. Humans. You like little inlet of towns? Yeah, I, I, I kind of like this. This could work. Those are Goombas. Spooky little islands. There's some dudes out up here on their own area. Just humans out in their own realm. Bubblanian? The fuck's a Bubblanian? bob -ombs? I'm sure they're friendly. Don't they just, like, walk in and explode? We got Brocks. Shy guys. Lots of shy guys. Hmm. Well, we know it works. Um, I kind of want to let the world generate a little longer, though. I don't know if it's worth it. There's Yoshi tribes! Tribal Yoshis, my friends! We have tribal Yoshis. I kind of just want to press go for a minute. But I really like this area with these big old rivers. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to let it continue. So we know that if we have large number of civilizations and a large world, it will generate Toads and Yoshis. Let's let it go. For let's go to year thirty. Maybe ah, damn it! It crashed at year thirty. Go figure. Come on, we we know that it works. It's just world gen. Doesn't like world gen. Let's go medium, and very. Large number of sieves. So medium world, large number of sieves. Go! 
select your clear. And... Bow. Right as I paused it. I'm still very entertained by this. I hope you guys are too. Let's try that again. Yep, that time it broke. How did I manage to generate four worlds in a row without it crashing previously? How the fuck did I manage to do that? I'm going to give this until noon. If I'm still generating worlds by noon. That's the one I wanted high. Someone should be saying llama right now, and I don't know why. All right. This was a medium-sized world. It's pretty portioned out, though. Like, we've got this whole, like, uh, not completely self-contained, but almost self-contained little island. We got Shy Guys. We got Blah Bombs. Mole people. More mole people. Goombas. Shy Guys. Kongs. More Kongs. Kremlin? What the fuck's a Kremlin? It's a thing in Mario, apparently. 200 results for Kremlin. Kremlin crew? Oh! Those guys! I just learned that they're called Kremlin. Well, it's working. Um, apparently, they're in Mario Power Tennis and uh, Super Mario Strikers. They show up in the golf games. Okay. Yeah, Kong. Uh huh. I, 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 I am running with the head cannon at this point that the reason this mod causes crashes in world gen is because world gen realizes that it's committing a crime and just DMCAs itself. The trampled water? How do you trample water? Frog people? Frog people? Humans? Goombas? Bubbles, foresty retreats. What do we have up here? More bobombs, dark koopas, goombas, loach folk. What? Or maybe it's lock folk. I mean, I type in lock and it says lock lady. What the heck's a lot? What the fuck is that? So I haven't played Super Mario Odyssey chat room. What the fuck is that? Somebody care to explain to me what in the fuck that is. How did this shit not give people nightmares? If I saw that as a five-year-old, I would never sleep again. What the fuck is that? Uh, yeah, right? It's exactly, it's a Loch Ness monster. Perfect. It's, yeah. It's just, no. I mean, you're just playing normal Dwarf Fortress, though, Spitalia. I, I realize that you're finding gigantic tortoises, but that's that's different, Okay. I'm very distressed by all of this. Mario is just scary in and of itself. Oh, there we go. We got we got toads. We we got toads. We got toad hamlets. This might be a shippable world. We got a north and south pole and an equator. We got toad hamlets. 
Why would I rule 34 that? This, there's a reason I'm on the Super Mario Brothers wiki and not just Google image search. <laughs> or even worse, like fucking um, Bing search. Bing is a thousand times worse than Google image search. Normal Dwarf Fortress question. Can you settle in deserts without instantly losing? Absolutely. Why would you not be able to settle on deserts without instantly losing? Dwarves actually are not bothered um, by temperature at all. So you can settle anywhere without instantly losing. Unless you're fucking with advanced world gen stuff and cranking the temperature like up to astronomical degrees because then you'll settle and everything will just spontaneously combust. Which maybe that's instantly winning depending on your ethos of dwarf fort. Yoshi tribes, probably? I don't know what a toaster nan... Toast? The fuck is that? Toaster, what? Toast R? Toasteranian? What the f- Oh, these guys! These guys! I know these guys. I swear they've been in other things outside of Mario Odyssey, but I've definitely seen screenshots of these guys. Okay, well I know what those guys are. You sound like a Yoshi. Yoshi! Uh, you do realize because Dwarf Fortress has no sound effects, I have to make all the sound effects with my mouth, right? Bubolian? Bubolian. Bubolian? Bubolian. There's snail people? Mario Odyssey got weird, yo. See, we already have these in Dwarf Fortress. Well, here's the thing, right? Sans is a very generic looking skeleton. So if you make generic looking skeletons, they look like Sans. You just need a more open mind for creative ideas. Apparently. No, this is streamer reacts to Mario shit that he didn't know existed <laughs> is what this is. Because I don't know anything about Deep Mario lore. There's more Toasternians, more of those like little... Craw? Excuse me? The heck's a craw? Oh, they're crow people from Paper Mario, which I never played. I've watched speedruns of it. Okay. Everyone knows that skeletons didn't exist until Undertale, indeed, yes. I, you know, I, I genuinely wished I played Undertale when I had the opportunity to. Because I was um, offered an early copy of that game. And I was like, that looks like just random indie game. I'm not particularly interested in it. Whatever. And I, I heard some rumblings about it, and it just wasn't really my shtick. So I just completely missed it, basically. And by the time I, I came back around and I was like, actually, this might be something I'd be interested in playing. The fandom for it was so fucking insufferable. I was like, you know what? How about I just don't? What the fuck is that? Ratui? Ratui. Ratatui? Oh. Apparently there's a character named Lumpy in uh, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door that only appears once. And they're a Ratui. You can face Chim Chomps? Okay. 
Oh, also, in regards to the, the, the picture of my face that people are photoshopping on the Discord, go fucking ham. If you want to photoshop me onto shit, go nuts. I am A-OK -okay with that. Please make gifts. Damn it. I continue generating the world. I was like, maybe I can get up to 30 years? The problem is, is like, super early on worlds are very much like spread out. I kind of, I want the sieves to develop a little bit more, but it probably doesn't matter, right? Let's try this again. Also, that one had too many, like, secluded islands for me, personally. Like, I'm just not interested in playing on the super secluded islands. But maybe I should just stop bitching and play, because there will be tons of new shit anyway. Try this again. Ooh, this looks cool. We'll see if it works, though. Let's go for year 25. Five. Now it's just not even trying. You get to 10 years of world gen? There must be some sort of incompatibility. Here's the thing, though, right? I let it run for a, almost, a, almost an hour in the game without building anything, and I had no problems. Um, now I want to know what happens if I crank up natural savagery. I think I know probably, because I know that there's some world gen changes that have been made, but I'll bet you once you get out of world gen, it's just fine. Because I generated four worlds at short history last night with no issue. It just generated just fine. So... Now I'm wishing I didn't delete them. <laughs> but I did. And I do have one world generated. But it doesn't have... Um, very high sieves, so it doesn't have toads. Which is what I would like to play as. So you're, we're just kind of getting these this fiddling. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very entertained right now, though. So there is that. So, Chad, if we're very entertained, I'll just keep doing this until I find it. it I'll, I'll just um, keep doing this until I make it work. Um, so, if you're bored, tell me. If you're entertained, tell me. I guess. Because if you're bored, we'll just take the world as is and roll with it. But I'm just... I'm way too entertained by... Even though the fact that the world gen is crashing every other attempt. I'm totally okay with that. Because world gen is different from in-game, so it'll probably be fine in-game from my experiments from yesterday. Although now it can't get past year three. To increase chance of toads? You know what? You're probably right. Let's, let's just go short history, large world, because it usually gets past five worlds. So let's say short history, very high sieves, Large world, go. And then I'll just press enter immediately once it gets through all of this stuff. Also, I see two volcanoes. So this one might be a keeper already. Purely based on the fact that there's two volcanoes there. And who doesn't want to drop a Yoshi into a volcano? I've done that in other games. I'll do that here. Happy Mario. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, that's, that's half of this stream, right? Wonder Help Laser is just like... Fucking around in the Mario mud. That's half the fun of Dwarf Fortress, is trying to break shit. And we're certainly doing that. If I hit enter too early, it will abort. So I don't want to abort. I'm going to try and stop it around like year 10 or so, and we'll just go with a feudal society. That's fine. Young world it is. We don't need to worry about having tons of late game nightmares or whatever. I mean, if you want to Photoshop my face onto that scene, you're more than welcome to. You get to do the work, though. I just get entertained. This is kind of fitting Mario-ish music. I 
Uh, yes, I have seen bean beans. I don't know what that is, but there are bean beans. So if you're like a nerd for super deep Mario lore, this is probably going to be a thousand percent your shit. I'm not that person. I am not that person at all. I know nothing about this shit. But I do know what a toad is, so... And like what a star sprite is and a shine and all that stuff. And the terrifying glowing suns and things. I know what a Yoshi is. I've seen a Yoshi. I've caused mass genocide against Yoshis in other games. I mean, it's it seems to be working. We've got names. The, the name is like in Shy Guys, so the world's been named, correct? God, a deep lore Zelda overhaul would also be great. Just take, like, any lore and jam it into uh, Dwarf Fortress, and it's probably great. Or any pro paint program? Okay, well, just throwing the ideas out into the world is just, like, more than enough. But if you say them too loudly around Cooler, he might just put my face on things. Cooler's put my face on some strange things in the past, so... Fuck. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do the five-year history. We'll just do that. We'll do large world, five-year history, and just go with it. Because something breaks. I don't know what it is, but something breaks in this version. So we'll just do that. Because it crashed at six years. God, that's so many lakes. Investments are open if you wish to invest your tickets. Uh, well, do yourself a huge favor and don't ever go into a stream that you don't know particularly well and state that you're going to go stream something later because that is the worst form of self-promotion and it's extremely annoying for the streamer and will almost never get a positive response. But it doesn't matter who you are. Don't ever do that. It's literally the second thing you've typed in my chat. It's not cool. Don't do that. But at the same time, have fun playing SS13. Well, that's literally what you did. So if, it, if you weren't trying to, that was the outcome. We have a room on Discord for that kind of stuff, if you want to do that. Just remember that for future. It's, it's sort of a bit of Twitch etiquette that everybody needs to learn eventually. There are places where you can do that. Uh, and generally, if you are a member of a community or if you're around a lot, that becomes more okay over time. But, but it's sort of like walking into a McDonald's and going, I'm going to Wendy's! Really loudly. It's just kind of rude. Like, nobody fucking cares if you're going to Wendy's. Go to, go to Wendy's. Jesus. Exactly. Like, it's just, like, who does that? <laughs> Ooh, I like this world gen too. It's one giant massive continent, except for that like little jibaity tiny spot up in the far north. Yeah, this little this little bit is like siphoned off from everything else, but there's mole people up here. All right, what else do we have up here? A little purple thing, Shiverians. It is a really nice world. The problem is, is I can only generate the five years. Dark Koopas. I mean, we seem to have everything, probably. Bubbles. I really wish I could get, like, 30 years of history. It just means that giant chain chomps and shit will be alive. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. Noki? What the heck's a Noki? I know what a Noki is, but that's not how that's spelled. What the heck's a Noki? Uh, bumblebee people. They're in sunshine. 
Well, I never played Sun... I never made it out of the first level of Sunshine, so... I did play it. Those fuckers. So that's Sunshine Island. So that's bad video game island. So you don't go there. What else do we have? Human Hamlets? Okay. What else do we have? Volbonen? The fucks of Volbonen. Um, so it's another Odyssey thing. There are fork people? In Mario... Ho hold on a second. I have to go DM one of my, one of my friends. I need to summon Lewis. So I just sent him a DM. I'm playing the Mario DF mod, and it's a fucking nightmare. For reference, he's a, a hobbyist speedrunner uh, for Mario 64 and Sunshine, I think? Or maybe it's and Odyssey. Anyway, I just sent him a DM because this is horrible, and I hate it. I hate every bit of this. This is the worst thing. But we do have a volcano. Multiple, in fact. Let's see what else we have. The bulb. Bob bombs. I think I'm going to roll with this world, because this seems to have the most races. There's the weird mole people. More humans. More humans. Do they have plumbers? I really hope they don't have plumb plumbers. More Dugans. More humans. Bob bombs. More bob. There's lots of bob bombs. Dark Koopas. Gotta love them. So is a, would a large chain chomp be like a, a dragon or something? More shy guys. More dark Koopas. Just peeking around, seeing what we got. More bubbles. At least, like, the common races I'm pretty familiar with. Mole people. Probably just a Mega Beast. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, or like a Titan type thing. Oh, shit, we got Toads! Yo, this would be a nice spot to settle as Toads, too. The hills of Amazing! You gotta love them. You gotta love them. What do we have over here? More Toads? More Toads? Fuck yeah, man. We got humans and toads. As well as, like, dark Koopas at a reasonable distance. I, th I, think, th I, th I think we're shipping this. The last 3D Mario game that I genuinely enjoyed that I played was... Uh, Commander Toad. Anyway. So. Toads for the Toad God. Mushrooms for the Mushroom Throne. Let's accept it. Please don't crash. Well, I mean, I would just simply be screaming I would rather die than be here. Because Wendy's and McDonald's are... Both disgusting, and I never want to eat in either of those places ever again for the rest of my life. It's, it was a goal that I set in 2018, and so far I've kept it up. Which is like almost four years ago now. Going to build or dig? Uh, I want to say that they're not much of an underground race, actually. But hold on. Let, 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 me, let me pop the guide back up, because there there is a guide included with this. It's very long. <laughs> um... For those of you who missed it the first time, because I've since been, like, regenerating stuff a whole bunch. Um, there it is. This is the guide.
It's rather long. Just tried two maps on 4412. It seems to go fine for 100 plus years on a large map. We'll see if this works. I mean, it's it, what's the worst that could happen? Is it crashes a bunch and I get frustrated and then we go do something else? <laughs> That's literally the worst thing that can happen, which I'm totally okay with. I know that there's been a lot of um, changes made to world gen since 4412, but the actual game itself, I know people who are still using save files that they generated on 4412 on the current version and they run just fine. So we should be fine. Just search for underground on the guide and see what it says. Yeah, true. Control F. Uh, I'm seeing adventure mode stuff. Uh, let's just search for Toad. All right. We're reading about fortress modes. So... Toads, uh, domestic production and trade-orientated gameplay, cook ordinary cro crops into valuable meals, or combine them together, together for surprises, raise Yoshis for defense purposes, build warp pipes to gather resources and seek out special missions, collect power stars to gain special in-game changing powers, revive your fallen comrades, and summon earthquakes or meteor showers against enemies. Uh, a shine, shine a light into the depths of the underworld and... Uh, must live above ground. So toads are above ground. Koopas are a noble oriented de defa noble oriented orientated defensive game. Build powerful military and defend your fortress against hordes of foes. Raise powerful monsters as pets and use magma based alchemy to transmutate metals and mutate into stronger forms. Polymorph your enemies and gain favor from your civilization's leader. I know that you were referring to the length of the guide, Reinhardt, but I'm just going to use that holy crap. So anyway, uh, let's see how this goes. Um, I'm just going to take a real quick glance at the sieves, just the sieve names, because I want to figure out which sieve we're playing. The Anatomy of Yells. Shy Guy Group. Shy Guy Group. Floro. Floro. Mole people. Mole people. Bubbleian. I'm just looking for a, um, the name of the toads, specifically. Uh, there are humans. Which I think have a class called Italian Plumber. I want to say that's a thing. I remember seeing that on another video. The Mushrooms of Heaven. Definitely not a toad civilization. Lots of star sprites. They're shamans? What the fuck are shaman? A ratui sprite? The Ratui groups? Yoshi tribesmen. We do have Yoshi tribesmen. The Mountainous of War is a machine made. What? Your Eurismic <laughs> jump face. <laughs> the f- Hold on, I need to open the Mario wiki back up. What? Machine maids are enemies' bosses that appear in Super Mario RPG Land of the Seven Stars. That's a video game I've never heard of. Well, I... Unless that's just the subtitle for Super Mario RPG, because I didn't know that. Unless that's a spinoff? Yeah, dude, the Mario Wiki's a thing. It's... Okay. What the fuck's a Husky? 
Kuski. Here's the thing, right? With most of this stuff, like, you're like, oh, yeah, that's a Mario thing. And you never think about it ever again. Apparently, that's a fucking Hooski. That's a fucking Hooski, apparently. Um, they're similar to who, who hooligans. I also don't know what a who hooligan is. So thank you for very much for the similar in appearance thing. Except they're brown in color. So, right? They're from Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I'm learning way more Mario. There's a thing called a squeak in a Mario? I mean, I know what the word squeak means. They had a king, though. That doesn't even show up on... Okay. Apparently, someone named Moosemillion? Mousemillion? From Paper Mario? Is called a squeak? But it's not a listed race on the Mario Wiki. There's more squeak groups. There's craw groups. Koopa groups. Koopa group. Bob-omms. bob, -omms. bob -omms. Nokis, which we looked up earlier. Which sound delicious. Frog people. The French are here. Kremlings. More Kremlings. Beanish peoples. So the bean beans. Uh, more Beanish? Goombas? I'm literally just trying to figure out what the fucking Toad group is called. What the fuck's a Bumpity? Bumpty? I guess that's a Bumpty. From Super... Oh, for they're from Yoshi's Island. Okay. You know, what makes it into a fever dream is, like, you see an animated model. Like, if you saw a fat penguin, you'd be like, okay, that's a Mario thing. And then you forget about it. You never once think, what is that thing called? I mean, I guess somebody does because they all have names on the wiki. But, like, I would never think to look up, what is that thing called? Fat penguins in Mario are called Bumpty. More bumpties. There we go. The ace mushrooms. Perfect. A toad civilization. Perfectly normal Mario bullshit. Another toad group. The honeys of drumming. Okay, so we finally find our playable races. Also, boyish, boyish pregnant is the name of a toad. Jana boyish pregnant. I'm upset. I need to... Are they ever mentioned in the na games? What, the names of them? I mean, they're from Super Mario and the Thousand Year Door, so probably. Or Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. So the Honeys of Drumming and the Ace Mushrooms are both playable races. And it crashed. That's the wrong install. To be clear, I didn't have a single crash last night when I was fucking with this, in this version. Th I mean, that's why I have the Super Mario Wiki open. Oh boy. All right. Ace Mushrooms. I kind of wish it would tell me what race they are. The Embracing Cakes. Considering the Ace of Mushrooms have... This little area down here. I guess that's them? What's around there? 
Uh, neighbors are toads, pilos, beans, ball bombs, shy guys, koopas, and humans. Oh, really? The first one is your race? Huh. The more you know. So the lacy candles would be Koopas. Okay, so that so these guys are toads then? I just learned something about Dwarf Fortress that I never knew. That's interesting. No trade. I mean, come on, we, we need as many things close by as possible. The trust scenario, the apples of reasoning, the embrace. I want to know what the embracing of cakes are. The embracing of cakes or toads. That definitely sounds like a toad civilization. And I think that this area was that one that I was like, this is a cool looking area. It's like, these would be my toad friends. Toads, Koopas, Beans, Goombas, and humans. That seems pretty normal Mario-y, but we have no bob around here. I kind of want bob -omms. Shy guys, there we go. If I go a little further south, we get shy guys. Mole people, there we go. Things are increasing. Increasing in weirdness. So I guess if I go around here on this side of the lake, then we get bubbles, mole people, shy guys, koopas, goombas. I'm pretty sure goombas are like mandatory. Yeah, no, exactly. I, I've, I've selected a sieve. Yeah, I know. I, I, I know how to select sieves. I just wish it would tell me my race in that screen, but that's okay. I kind of love the fact that we're in a forest, though. It could also be on the edge of this lake. Although, is that technically an ocean? Yeah, it's technically an ocean, so we'd get waves. It's also untamed wilds. I'm kind of terrified about it being untamed wilds, not gonna lie. That's also got shallow metals. What do we have nearby here? Beans, bubbles, mole people. I kind of want bob -oms. <laughs> I know that's a weird sentence to say, but I kind of want bob -oms. Any requests on biomes, chat? Like, do any of you guys have preferences? What biome is this? So it's a haunted mountain. That's kind of what I figured. But yeah, no, this toad sieve, say, uh, the, the, the sieve, which is the embracing cakes. What is the speechless college? They're also toads. Where are they? But yeah, the, the embracing cakes um, is that civilization that was like in that spot that we thought looked super cool that was like right near a mountain. Here, if I zoom out, this area. Whereas the Speechless co Cottage, which is another toad sieve, is up here. Up on this kind of secluded separate island. Well, that's just kind of an open request or question to chat. But um, I think this is probably where I'm going to embark. So we're going to have to just like hope for no more crashes. Yeah. This also seems pretty standard. It's like Koopas, Goombas, humans, beans, and toads. That's pretty standard. Like there's no bob -oms, but we do have like the normal Mario shit, I guess. Just gotta make sure I'm on the right sieve. Although I would like some metal. Temperate savanna? That could be fun with sparse trees. 
light aquifer, shallow clay, deep soil, shallow metal. How deep is it? It's kind of cliffy. I mean, wilderness, wilderness and untamed wilds are interesting. <laughs> B, you're a glutton for punishment. I don't think we should end up on glaciers this time. <laughs> I'm just going to go in on a limb here. I mean, we could go a little further. Ooh, that's untamed wilds. Temperate shrubland. I don't really care as long as, like, I have at least two or three neighbors that seem interesting. Like, I... The more, the more neighbors, the better, in my opinion. Even though they're probably just going to show up and fucking kill me. That's kind of the only real thing that I'm thinking. Like, look at that. Like, that's a that's a good spot to embark as far as I'm concerned. You liked the forest next to the lake? I think this spot down here is pretty good. Like, this kind of area near the big spooky mountains. Like, just slightly south of where we settled. So it's going to be pretty warm. But this area, this kind of, I think it's a jungle. Yeah, it's a temperate con conifer forest. It's got streams and deep metals. It's like if I could find one with a, like shallow metals too, that would be rad. Because we have to live above ground. So I guess we're like, we're, we're basically going to be like pit mining. Like this area could work. But then we don't get shy guys. So down here I do. What's this? It's temperate savanna with sparse trees. Moderate vegetations. Eh. That's rocky badlands. Could also just do like half and half. But that's like straight up just no trees. And we want the reason we want trees is because the trees are all mushrooms, I think. So we certainly do want trees. This area over here has got shallow metals though. But there's no shy guys. Hmm. Now that has Yoshi tribes peoples within range. I know, chat. Can I just get a round of beer? I, I gotta take a, a leak real quick. Coffee's turning on me. Be back in a sec. Now, I'd be lying if I said that all the world gen crashes haven't made me very paranoid about, like, the game crashing. So, we'll see. I don't know. This I, I kind of just want as many neighbors as possible because I want to die in as much fire and blood as possible. So, <laughs> um... But that's only deep metals. Let's see, is there... Oh, there's some shallow metal in this area. Now, I'm assuming that toads don't need alcohol. So they probably need water? Question mark? That's a question that I would like answered. I think this could do it. This is moderate vegetation. It's called the Labyrinthine Hill, and it's flat. Beer is mainly water and yeast and hops and other things. 
what's this? But supposedly we can just make fucking pipes and get materials out of that shit. This area could work too. It's got toads, shy guys, koopas, beans, mole people, goombas, and humans. I kind of... But we can't trade with the Yoshis anyway. I know that that's a sentence you should never hear. But I think we can just go with that. So I think we're just going to go with that. Right there. I, you think I need water? I'm just assuming they need water because mushrooms need water and they're mushrooms. So I'm assuming mushrooms aren't going to be brewing mushrooms into mushroom mushroom. Mushroom. Hi, Cooler. So there's part of me that wants to prepare carefully, but I also kind of just want to say go. Also, we're taming Yoshi's to work as war creatures. But there's also tribal Yoshis? Does that mean we have slaves? I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> I'm not okay with any of this. This is way more fucked up than I thought it would be. Can somebody please make a Disney mod for this so that we can have, like, goofies and get them to have pet war dogs? What do you think? Should we prepare carefully? My fear here is that if I prepare carefully, the game's going to crash. Because I didn't prepare carefully before. But we still have this world. And I think once we get in game, I'm just going to be saving like a mad lad. Kingdom Hearts could be a thing. I mean, that's just mashing Disney and Final Fantasy shit, right? They're contract workers. But like, are we paying them cooler? They're contracted to work for what? Food? In the form of the murdered subjects? <laughs> We'll let you eat our dead um, if you uh, work for us. Yeah? Into tea. Of course. They work for substance. It's... Yes, yeah, so just if you're going to ask questions, make sure that you're asking questions about normal DF because today is going to be very confusing. Apologies. Is it normal that none of the biomes on an Embark screen say that there is an aquifer and no warning pops up? Yes, that just means you have no aquifer. But there is an aquifer on three layers of the map. That just means the majority of the map that you... So if you're on like three biomes and only one of them is an aquifer, it's not going to give you a warning. So the main biome that you have selected will give you a warning if there's a warning on that. I've literally never played a... Kingdom Hearts game in my entire life. So to me, that shit's just a weird small child fever dream that I'd rather not interact with. <laughs> I'm not a Kingdom Hearts person at all. I watched a friend of mine play Kingdom Hearts 2, I think, when I was littler, but like, I refuse to acknowledge that that franchise really exists. And you know what? I think I'm probably better off for it. <laughs> And then we have dwarves. Wait, yeah, seven of them, right? <clears throat> seven of them. I kind of just want to hit play now. What do you think, chat? How important is preparing carefully in this mod? Because, like, I could just make a play now work normally. 
But then I guess we'd have to like go through our. You know what? Let, let's let's just prepare carefully. Let's just let's prepare carefully because I can just embark at any point, right? It's probably fine. It's probably fine, but everything's probably fine. Ant troopers, ant workers, ant queen. What the fuck's a cheap? The fuck's a blooper? I don't know what a blooper is. I need somebody who's just. Is there anybody who's a Mario expert who I know want to like pop on voice or some shit to just educate me on Mario shit while we're playing this? Bloopers a squid? They're squids? Okay. I mean, there's birdos in this. I know what a birdo is. What the fuck's a blarg? I literally just... Cheeps are birds? Okay. Apparently, they're from Mario World. Blargs are the weird dinos? Today, I learned. I, I've seen those. Blarg is the fierce and fiery Tyrannosaurus Rex that resides in the lava pits. I Today I learned more about Mario lore than I've learned in the entire 26 years of my life in like the last two hours. Also, that description. A large and... <laughs> Hold on, I, I want to read the description of the of, of, of the Blarg. A large predator made of molten rock that lives in volcanoes, underground and, and underground lava pools. So they're basically like magma crabs then? A Bladanian? A Bladanian. What? Um, Blade Landon? Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking of. Exactly, Blue Water. The fuck's a Blade Land? A, a Blab, 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 Blab Landon? A Blab Landon, uh-huh, is a petrodactyl character that appeared in Superstar Saga. That thing. I don't know. Exactly. I mean... It's a Blablanodon. A Blablanodon? And then there's also just demons here. There's a Blurp. A Blurp is a slow-moving fish. Living mainly in calm waters. They are not aggressive but have been known to cause injury on account of their size. Blurp? On the Mario Wiki. Also, shoutouts to the Mario Wiki for having a Mario glove. Glove? Glove. Glove. A blurp? Oh, those are called blurps? Huh. Today I learned. I should really stop looking at the full list of creatures, shouldn't I? We should wait until I get in game. I mean, I know what a bob -omb is. Oh boy. Well, the game generated boogeyman. Boiling phantoms. Booze. All right, I, I think we should just let it generate us an image because I'm gonna spend a thousand years in there. Oh no, I'm gonna look at their. I'm just gonna generate something, tactical poker. I like that. Usaeum, a tactical poker. 
The more you know, the more you want to die, as they say. Nobody says that. I, I, I think we should be a tactical po- Or that or a tactical mushroom. Hold on. Can I be a tactical mushroom? There we go. We're going to be the tactical mushrooms. Tactical pipe? Hmm. Is pipe a word? No, pipe is not a word. But I can be the tactical mushrooms. D everything seems scarier in Dwarf Fortress, man. I mean, just, just, just remember. You can have your arm ripped off by a Yoshi. And it will eat it. Think about it. But like in Dwarf Fortress context, right? In Dwarf Fortress context. I hope so, Zane. And then I hope it eats the egg. Ugh. See this? This is the face of somebody who's playing the Mario mod in Dwarf Fortress for the first time. I need more coffee. And probably some alcohol. Oh, yeah, and then kill you with the arm when it spits it at you. Exactly, Habitual. Habitual knows what's up. Now you're laughing? Good, at least somebody is. I'm terrified. I'm actually just terrified that the game's gonna crash. <laughs> I'm way too amused by the fact that there's they have their own language in here. Yell tricked. Virtue finished. Golf buttons. Prank shows. That's this. Bake scolds. Also, sorry I kind of vanished last night, picture point, but I was way too baked to type. <laughs> I was like, bye, I'm going to go get baked and then just never came back. I'm in Canada. It's legal here. Don't come at me. In loves. No. Bake the door. Tightness spices. Twinkle ne needed? Twinkle needed. Moss buttoned? Hold on, I have an emote for this. There we go. Alright, um... I'm looking for something that's... Chat, I need something that sounds toady. Not like toady one, but toady as in like toadstool-ish. How about like plum something? Should we be day drinking? Just here's the thing, right? It's a Wednesday at like not even 1 p.m. So if you want a day drink, that is your choice as a legal adult, I hope. Um, I will not be day drinking because I don't have anything to drink. So I will simply be having coffee. How about plum bath? Bathe? Baths? Plum baths. That sounds toady. What are toads into? I don't want to know. I I really don't want to know. I, I, I do not want... You do not want to know what toads are into. <laughs> Plumberry. That sounds kind of toady. I don't know. How about like mushroom, M mushroom berry, mushroom mush. Ugh. Mushroom mush would be like intestines. How about mushroom banes? <laughs> or it could be like mushroom balls. Mushroom balls sound delicious though. I'd eat that.
mushroom blossom. I I mean I isn't mush wouldn't a mushroom ball just be like a stuffed mushroom though? That's that's all I'm imagining is like a toads just be vibing. Toads be vibing. Yes, they do be vibing. Hi, Redbeard. Just to be clear, today is Mario Day, March 10th, because March 10th spells Mario. And uh, this is the Super Mario Brothers overhaul mod for Dwarf Fortress. Running in a version of the game it's not designed for. Um, puff balls? Ooh, is the word puff a thing? Oh, darn. How about fluff? Flush? Flute? Flung? It just clicked that I'm playing? What do you mean it just clicked? Did you just click? Are you okay? What clicked? As long as your back didn't click, that's bad. It hurts. I've been there. Hold on a second. You could name a fort Flesh Flute. I'm just going to throw that out there. Did you know that those words are available in this game? I just learned that. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. Mario, Martin. Mario. Mm -hmm. Bone turtle. Ooh. Flesh mushroom of mischief. How about flesh mushroom of bone turtle? Kind of sad. <laughs> flesh shriek. Shriek boils. That's not what I wanted at all. How about fleshy? Mushroom. Fleshy mushroom of screaming. A fleshy mushroom of mist. Mists. Mischief. Misery! <laughs> fleshy mushroom of misery! Yay! <laughs> I don't want to be the fleshy balls. I, I just, I don't want to have to say that. Also, if you were to do that, you would go flesh balls. Come on, it sounds so much better than fleshy balls. <sighs> I feel like I'm having a stroke. Toads for the toad room, mushrooms for the mushroom god. How about we just be toad? Can I be toad? Toad is a word. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to be... We're going to be... We're, we're going to get rid of the of, mis of misery. Actually, you know what? No, we're, we're going to keep the of misery. I'm just going to be the toad... Throne. Toad throne of misery. Toad thrones of misery? And we're the toad thrones of something. I could be the toad throne of pain. Because toads for the toad throne. Toads for the toad throne. Shrooms for the shroom god. Toad thrones of poison? Toad Thrones of Creams. Oh, this is so much worse than everything Dwarf Fortress related. It's really bad when it's dwarves anyway, but like... I mean, Caves of Cud is kind of Mario. Like, I, I always say that Caves of Cud is like post-apocalyptic Alice in Wonderland in the future. Or it's like post-apocalyptic Dune Alice in Wonderland, but you could also just like interchange Mario for that. And it wouldn't be too far off with Caves of Cud. Toad 
Toad Thrones of Blisters. Blossoms? How about Toad Thrones of Blossoms? So much nicer than Misery. Because their misery is happiness. Because you never see it coming. What is Mushroom Blood? Don't think about it too hard. I mean, here's the thing, Sox Smell. Um, for everything that you've said, right, about, like, well, for, for like, mushroom flesh, uh, fleshy balls of mushrooms and mushroom blood, there's fan art for that, right? There's fan art and mods for that. When the shrooms wear off. Oh, no. Blossoming toad thrones? Oh, no. You don't want that? Then don't ask it. Because, like, you can receive that with a simple Google image search. Because the fan art exists. So be careful what you ask for. When you, and, and, unless this is like a Jeopardy situation when you say, What is mushroom blood? And that's the answer to the question? You don't want that. Because you can get that. And remember, chat. If you're gonna link things, keep them safe for work, right? That's like the one rule with this Twitch chat, is just, if you're gonna post things, be careful what people ask for and don't link things we shouldn't. Okay? Okay? That's it. Uh, I think we're gonna be the Toad Thrones... ...of Blazing. The Toad Thrones of Blazing. Done. So the Fortnite, the fort name is the Toad Thrones of Blazing. The group name is the Tactical Mushrooms. <laughs> and the symbol, I don't even want to dive into that. How about like... A, a one-up mushroom is a plant, chat. So is a banana cake. The bean. What's a blurb mushroom? I'm very upset. What's a zombie mushroom? Does it make you into a zombie? You know what? I chat, what's more disturbing? Most of this and what we know it can do or the fact that someone made this. I know for fact that like Tarn has stated that he's like the disturbing thing is like the possibilities of it. But it's like I think what's actually disturbing about this is the fact that someone made this. My Little Pony is less disturbing than this. And that's saying something. I know it'll only get worse. You can say it'll get better. Let's just make our, our symbol a life mushroom. And we will name the symbol uh, the immortal of dressing, the droopiness of toasts, the heathers of busyness, the chain of surprise, the plot of plunging, the thrifty tongs, the rumored garnishes, the indigo aunt, the clock of throats, oh god, the flaxen shelters, the chocolate tress, the fruity tick. Sure. Let's go with that. An image of a life mushroom. The fruity tick. There is a there is a My Little Pony mod for Dwarf Fortress, yes. I don't know where it's available, but I've seen posts about it. And there was there is a video or was a video on the internet somewhere. Um also, hi, Vigario Pro. 
there there is a image of somebody who mashed up this mod and the My Little Pony mod. Or I think there's like a, a like a video that goes along with a text let's play. It's very old though. I don't know how playable it is in current versions. I mean, this isn't even updated for this version, and I'm playing it in this version, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway. She has the appearance of somebody who's 30. How long can toads live? She personally sees equal parts of harmony and discord as part of life. <laughs> I think that's the that's the accurate response. I have no idea. Also, they're mushrooms. So aren't they all technically like interconnected hive mind brains? 60 to 120, thank you. I guess I should read this, yeah? I have a question, chat. Toads live until they die. You're welcome. Thank you for the wisdom I have bestowed. I am very thankful for the wisdom that you have bestowed upon me, Ambitual. Uh, and I shall bow down to your kindness and wondrous magics of wisdom. Um, do we name everybody or do we just enjoy Goru, Janna, Giryu, Rasu, Hayaki, Dizuki? Gear you? Koru? Gory over? Have phenomenal strength, really? What? <laughs> Need to open the guide back up. I mean, they, they describe, they're, they're above ground dwellers, so they, they don't like going ben beneath ground. And uh, they can use stars to summon magical powers. Uh, we can raise Yoshis for defensive purposes, build warp pipes to seek out special missions, and collect power stars to gain special in-game changing powers, such as reviving your fallen comrades, summoning earthquakes, meteor showers, and uh, shine a light into the depths of the underworld. I kind of want to just run with the cool names. Maybe give people nicknames once we get in. But... the adults to An adult toad is the size of a beaver. So like a large rodent? <laughs> Very large rodent. Oh boy. Copper hand picks. Copper hatchets. Sweet strawberry juice. Gotta love that strawberry juice. Grape juice. Cave mushroom spawn. Okay. A bajillion different kinds of mushroom spawn. I feel like I shouldn't fuck with any of this. Smiling turnip seeds. Squat radish seeds. Fuzzbush seeds. Iced potato seeds. You gotta love that ice, iced tater. Um... Wheatgrass, sweet beets, royal butterfly meat, humming tadpole, poison mushrooms. Those seem healthy. Fuzzy thread, fuzzy. Okay, so I'm I'm, I'm assuming that fuzzberry stuff is probably the fuzzy cloth. So I'm assuming that the fuzzbush seeds are probably what we make into clothes. And I'm assuming that the candy cane candy cane is a type of wood. Yeah, I know Yoshi's are in the animal list. We'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll de I'm dealing with one thing at a time, Aqua. There's a lot here. Oh, they're not not they're not always in the list. I mean, I guess my um Faction has different Yoshis. I don't even know what a little oink is. I'm assuming those are like pigs? Oinklets? 
Because they make oink sounds? Sleepy lambs. Debul. 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 Uh, I, I'm assuming a moo moo is a cow. <laughs> I'm assuming. Yoshi is expensive. Chat, what color Yoshi should we bring? Oh, like... I mean, I so based on the descriptor, because we're so tiny... Um... Where'd you say that there's Yoshis? I don't see any Yoshis. There's no Yoshis in this list by default. Red, blue. Oh God, there's so many. Pink, brown, teal, purple, dark red. Dark green? Are they evil? What? Why? Why are the dark one? Hi, candle pixie. I'm assuming. I'm just assuming moomoos are cows. I mean, there's. Here's the thing. I've never played nor paid any attention to anything from any Super Mario RPG game. Where is Mario? Oh, this is Mushroom Kingdom. Mario is some weird demigod who comes down from the space pipes occasionally and stomps all over people. Cause mass mur causes mass murder and hysteria and then leaves with his princess. So where's Mario? Hopefully far away from us. <laughs> We're just some humble toads. Dem I mean, if you think intergalactic space alien time travelers are demigods, then sure, you humble, feeble, simple-minded being. <laughs> Human demigod adventure. There you go. Yeah, an adventure. Mentally deranged demigod that jumps on people. Yes, exactly. Besides, we're going to... Um, Oh, I have zero points. I'm like, I, I'm sitting here going like, why can't I select things? Well, I got zero points. So I'm going to run with my basic dwarf fort knowledge of I can probably make wheelbarrows and step ladders. How hard can that be? And splints and buckets. Hopefully we're not going to need splints right away. Um, I'm going to keep bags. I'm also going to run under the assumption I don't need seeds for everything. We do have sweet juice. I'm assuming I'll be able to just like harvest stuff. Looks like you found the list of toads names. They have a name. There's, oh my God. So I'm on the fandom wiki, which is this one, but this is an even another wiki. I don't know if any... Are, are these, like, actual... Do There's this many different toads? What the fuck is Chief Spore? Is a mushroom person from the Nintendo Comics system. I'm gonna leave that. That's a terrifying wiki. I don't need that. That's too much. You can still gather plants? Yeah, so I'm assuming I don't need this many mushroom spawns. I'm just gonna... Also, we're mushrooms, and we're going to be eating mushrooms. So that's not fucked up at all. Although, I'm sure fire flowers are probably important. What if we just, like, bring some of each? But, like, less. Just to give me a bunch of points. Because, like, maybe I just don't need five of all of these. 
because I would like to bring... I don't need to bring the hatchlings. I would like to bring a couple Yoshis. A couple. Ideally. Besides, I'm a little bit more worried about the juices than anything. Yeah, that's that's basically me right now, Kulu. That's a very accurate descriptor. All right, I don't know what any of this shit does, so why don't we just, like, press go? What could possibly go wrong? By the words of the great majestic ruler the of the entrancing cakes and the lands beyond. Greetings. I hope this letter finds you well. And in good health. Your party of seven brave citizens has been chosen to construct the outpost of Ijunosko Pesal and build it into a thriving center for the glory of all true guru. Okay. Through the journey into the harsh wilderness, maybe may have been difficult. Your real challenge begins now. Our scarts have informed us that there may be scuttlebugs lurking in the area. The fuck's a scuttlebug? Anyway, uh... Use whatever natural resources you find to construct suitable lodgings and do your best to produce something of use by the year's end. We will send a trader's caravan loaded with emergency supplies later in the season. Hopefully, you'll manage on your own. Until then, may the stars shine down upon toad thrones of blazing. Good luck. Yours truly, lawgiver of the Embracing Kinks. Did I have an anvil and an axe? Uh, no. I did have hatchets. Not an axe. I had hand hatchets and picks. I don't believe I have an anvil. Although, I do not know if we need one. Because there's something about transmogrifying. Hold on. Let me open the wiki. Or not the wiki, but... Uh... Coronary crops into meals and combine them together. Raise your Yoshis for defense. Build warp pipes to gather resources and seek out special missions. Uh, also, apparently, toads have a fancy name of Homo Boltus. Also, as soon as I get in game, I'm going to plop a save down. Yeah. Also known as mushroom folk, the divinus fungus-like toads are the most prominent civilization in the mushroom world. These little people have, have a, are a peaceful sort who prefer to live off the land, cooking fabulous meals from magical plants that grow in their soil. Trading uh, with numerous other races, they share their world with... Uh, uh, trading with all the world races that they share their world with, tro toads make friends easily and can be found anywhere in the world, though they prefer to build their, uh, they build near their main towns uh, around temperate forests. Well, that's around where we're at. Uh, as the leader of the Toad Settlement, you will have access to a warp pipe technology, allowing your citizens to connect to distant lands by way of vast interdimensional networks. Okay. Uh, collect raw resources that might be available on your Embark site, uh, and you will run services for people in faraway kingdoms and earn them shining and earn shining coins to exchange for power. After collecting enough stars, you will be able to call upon phenomenal cosmic powers to defend your settlers. Are you ready? I don't know. 
I don't see nothing about no anvil. So, uh... YOLO? I guess? I'm four hours into the stream, and I haven't actually played a video game yet. Well, T's appear to be toads, so apparently uh, we screwed up the tile step. But that's okay. Maybe Cooler could fix it. Or alternatively, we could just not care. Is it Mushroom World only mode? Uh, it's... I mean... There is no dwarves or anything, if that's what you're asking. Uh, let's look around, shall we? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save. And then continue playing. Just so that I don't need to re-embark if something crashes. The real video game was the friends we made all along. I mean, sure. There's cheap cheeps, feral goombas, and feral paragoombas. A small creature resembling a walking mushroom with a face, with a face. These tenacious creatures have forsaken civilization long ago. And now wander the wilds. He is fat, and his protruding round blue eyes are close set. Um, we have domesticated beanlets, little oinks, moomoos, sleepy sheep. And Yoshis. So, I don't think we can tame Goombas. Um, at least from immediate checking. Although, if I'm able to cage trap one, we can try it. Also, the whole concept of gelding a Yoshi is disturbing, because that implies that Yoshis have things to be gelded. I thought Yoshis were asexual. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they reproduced asexually because they seem to be able to just lay eggs without the legs, eggs being like, you know, I'm just going to leave that at that. I need a drink. I never played Mario 2. I mean... Sure, Vim. I mean, I don't go looking at Mario fan art, but I ain't innocent. I mean, I've talked about cleaning blood off of the ceiling and watching people shit in front of me in McDonald's. I ain't innocent. But I don't go looking for Mario fan art. How's that? I mean, I know what a Birdo is. I'm well aware of what a Birdo is. Didn't they put Birdo into Mario Maker? I thought they did. Anyway, we'll have to try and catch a um, 
something in a trap. All right, let's see what we have. Pretty standard. I'm going to look at workshops. All right, well, the workshops list is a lot shorter, which is both way scarier and much nicer. All right, so we got Leatherworks, Quern, Millstone, Loom, Clothers Shop. Okay. Pretty standard so far. Metalsmith's Forge, Jeweler's Workshop. Did I have... Yeah, okay, I don't have an anvil. <laughs> a Jeweler's Workshop, a Mason's Workshop, a Butcher's Shop, a Tanner's Shop, a Craftsman Forge, a Siege, a Still, Farmer's Workshop, Fishery, Dyer's, Hatchery, Soap Maker's Workshop, Screw Press, Unpacking Station. A Toad House. Is that where we make more toads? I don't want to ask too many questions. A requests office, a vim extractor, a pipe factory, and a star beacon. Feral Goombas are exotic pets. Okay, so we that means we can tame Goombas. What the fuck is this? Oh, well, those are feral Goombas. Holy fuck, they move fast. I thought those fuckers were supposed to be slow. Holy shit. We're all fucked, boys. We're gonna die immediately. Well, I hope the Yoshis think they're delicious. <laughs> Are they milkable? <laughs> That's not a sentence you can ask, okay? <laughs> the real question is... Can I shear a toad? Try and check their labors. Okay, labors are all pretty standard. Can I make cheese out of them? You see the the okay, so so here's the thing, right? In the Mario world. There's a lot of things where you just go, it's Mario shit, and you don't ask questions, right? That's a lot of stuff in Mario. You just you just don't ask questions, right? Like, they just happen, and you go, yeah, okay, and you move on, right? There's a lot of things in Mario where you just you don't ask questions. The whole point of Dwarf Fortress is it asks all of the questions. <laughs> all of them. So it's like... It's not that it's not surreal. Mario is just fucking batshit. I need a woodcutter. We need to hack some trees down. I like the militia commanders just called captain. That's great. That is brilliant. All right. Let's take a glance at you, shall we? Goru. Actually, who's our captain? Who's in charge here? Uh, Giru, Giryu, Rogishu, Hiyoshiru. She feels fondness when speaking with a friend and is an ardent worshipper of Irubono. The fuck's an Irubono? And a deity of the embracing cakes. Most often takes the form of a female toad and is associated with sky and the stars. I was very worried that was going to get dark, and I'm very happy that it's wholesome. Okay, uh, they're all best friends. Perfect. Including their friends with the Yoshis? Okay, well, they can make friends with their with Yoshis. Does that mean that they're, like, pets? They're tame. They're not a... I can make them available as pets? I don't know if I should do that. But maybe that's a good idea? I should also probably give them hunting training, yeah? Or war training, even better? I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Also, hold on a second. Are they citizens? I have 12 toads? No. Yoshis are counted as citizens? Can we slaughter them for Talo and make Yoshi soap? Probably. Can I assign them to be slaughtered? Yes, I can assign them to be slaughtered. I probably shouldn't do that because that would burn through my Yoshi supply, but... My other question is, do I need to give them nest boxes so they can breed? Or do they just breed? I, um...
I think they use beds too. I seem to recall that, yeah. But do they need nest boxes because they're egg layers? Or are they just good to go? They, they just, they figure that out. I'm hoping they just figure that out. I don't want to ask any more questions. Um, I need a woodcutter. Anyway, let, let's, let's keep reading about our captain. Uh, she has the appearance of somebody that is 27 years old and is one of the first of her kind. She is skinny and somewhat short. Her head is somewhat narrow. Her black eyes are slightly close set. Her skin is pale brown and her mushroom cap is white with red spots. She feels fondness when talking with a friend and she spoke with a friend and feels very fond. She is skinny and somewhat has a somewhat short head. Her somewhat uh Right, I already read that. Anyway, uh, she likes Wompstone. She likes Whompstone, okay, uh, Bismuth, Bronze, Pink Tourmaline, Hand Picks, and Beds, and Amulets, and the words of the Festival of Lyrics, and the sight of the Euphoria of Tulips, and when possible prefers to consume Winkle, Pasta Cakes, and Refresh Room Tea. Refresh Room, chat. Refresh Room. It's refreshing. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Um, she has little willpower and poor analytical abilities, but she likes picks. And beds. I'm going to give you carpentry. You also like gems, so I will give you gem cutting. Social sound. What do we have here? Clay? Silt? Groom? Goom nut? Cloud top? Just wanted to stop by and say hello. And that this will be the last sub of mine for some time until I manage to find a job. Skeptical smiley face. You shouldn't be resubbing if you're trying to find a job. Like that should just be a rule. What's up, IDZ? Like that like just don't even don't even worry about it, man. If you can't sub, don't fucking sub. It's all good. Only do what you can afford to do. Just kind of looking at the overall map layout. So there isn't any tall mushrooms on this area in this area. I know that the embark that I did yesterday, um, all of the trees on land were giant mushrooms, but I guess we just have tree trees. I know there's also tree trees. It's still active for a while. I get you, man. Only do what you can afford to do. Don't do what you can't afford to do. How's things outside of the job hunting, though? This is the Super Mario Brothers overhaul mod, and it's disturbing. You're pro tactor pro 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 protectored? I don't know what that is, IDZ, but have fun. Hopefully it goes well. You didn't want me to think that you were upsetty? <laughs> I don't generally think people are upsetty. I do think, however, when people disappear that I somehow offended them to the point where they never want to associate with me or any of my friends ever again. So that's pretty normal. Well, I'm sure Yoshi can say very detailed words like Yoshi and Yoshi and wah, 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 wah. those are like the two sounds that Yoshi can make, right? So they're very intelligent. You had to record yourself to cheat, prove that you didn't cheat. I mean, I guess when you're taking quizzes at home, you could just Google everything, right? Um, all right. Um, I need I need somebody to do wood cutting. So I'm going to give you wood cutting. Rasu, the peasant, who likes Hu-Hulium and Crystallite. What the fuck is Hu-Hulium? Helidor and, day and dry dry cactus rib wood. See, I know what a dry dry cactus rib wood is, but aren't they alive? 
You can chop them down? The color of midnight blue bucklers and Yoshis for their long tongues. You gotta like them, like them long tongues. Neil, thanks for the host. Cheers, man. Are you gonna get a tax return this year? Because hopefully that'll be soonish. Gimper. Devour corpses. Something like that. So what you're so you've been eating better. Hopefully my, my terrible influences are rubbing off on people. Meaning eat healthy, but smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> Is she back in the other side of the border right now? Camper? I mean, you're in Canada, so I certainly hope so. I get you. Okay. I wasn't sure when you said she'd be coming soon. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> There's a lot of meanings I could ascribe to that. She personally finds leisure time wasteful, finds eloquence and artful speech off-putting, and doesn't care about art one way or another. Will you find artful speech off-putting? She has no ambition whatsoever and is pleased by her own looks and accomplishments, is very curious and sometimes to her detriment. She is very slow to anger and does not find most jokes funny, cracks easily under pressure and often finds, feels envious of others and rarely is happy or enthusiastic. I, if you train a Yoshi for war, does that make it a Warshi? Anyway, I'm gonna chop down some trees. Because I do have a, a woodcutter assigned, so let, let's just let's just get things started, shall we? Because I haven't really unpaused yet. I'm very terrified that everything is going to kill me. Grumpy Toad, yeah. Oh, well, at least that's no longer a concern. The water thawed. How deep is that water? That's seven of seven. I wonder if toads can drown. Only one way to find out, right? Let's build a little bridge, shall we? Toad wood. We have wood? They appear to be able to help construct, so that's nice of them. Oh no, they're going the wrong way. How about I uh, suspend all of this? So you guys come back, so you don't go drown, which is what they would do. To which question? I've said a lot of things in the last couple minutes. Yoshis can build? Because I noticed this. Or are you talking about drown? Oh. Well, you don't seem too bothered by the water. Yes, toads can drown? Okay. Well, why did you go that route? That seems a little redundant. Oh, it's because they're trying to get the wood from up there. Well, how about I forbid that wood? Because you don't know that's there anymore. And how about I cancel all of this? Just build a final piece of wood right there. So I have some green Yoshis and some brown Yoshis. Your sisters bought a house in Edmonton? Well, good for them. I guess we should make some sort of mead hall. I don't know what zones we have available, so I guess I should check. Yep, 
Inn, tavern, temple, and craft guild halls are all available. Okay. So I guess I should get some sort of dormitory. Although there's also the question of what the fuck's a toad house? Because under workshops, there's toad houses, as well as a request office and a star beacon. I could just build a toad house and see what a toad is. Toad house is. I figured they're not for sleeping, but I also don't know what it is. So I should build it to find out. Apparently I can make them out of wood. I wonder if they need architecture or anything. Nope. Add a new task. And there's nothing on the list. Profile requires a manager. Hmm. I mean, I just built it. But yeah, you're right. I might not have like quests and stuff. I just want to build these to know what they look like more than anything. You can't build chair and stuff outside? I mean, that's been the way of DF for a very long time. Well, let's just start building walls, shall we? Because it seems like wood is something that I'm going to be constructing stuff out of. So we'll just we'll go with that for right now. And then I'll see what I can make inside of this area. See if I can get tables and beds set up. I know I can make doors. I'm assuming carpentry is the same, pretty much. I also know that I need doors, so we should do that. Let's just let them get those walls set up. Maybe make some little houses or something? I'm sure this will go just fine. But yeah, no, I guess this kind of just should go without saying. Gimper, do not worry about keeping subs running. Don't worry about any of that shit. Don't worry about me getting upset. Just take care of yourselves. You do not owe me anything. I'm just getting floors built. But check in occasionally. Don't just vanish. That's what makes me worry, is when people just vanish. That's when I assume people hate me. <laughs> Enjoy the lurk, scoffer. Well, so far it seems to be pretty dwarf fortress -y. I'm assuming I can make a squad and put Yoshis in it. Can I? So I can't give them full labors, but I can... I can assign them to do combat or don't do combat. Labor or don't do labor. Or turn on and off miscellaneous skills. Because apparently this Yoshi can sing. And knows some music. And he's a novice. Or she's a novice. Also, there was combat. A feral Goomba is fighting. The feral Goomba's head takes the full force of the impact. And the feral Goomba stands up. The feral Goomba is no longer stunned. It must have fallen out of a tree or something. You know, as much as I say the whole, like, you don't owe me anything... That being said, to those of you who are giving me money, thanks for helping me afford groceries, because this is my full-time job. 
It doesn't matter where you're giving me money, but thank you to those of you who are. While I stare at this Yoshi thing. What, what? So I just have two brown Yoshis as well, which I'm assuming are the ones that brought me here. I'm assuming they were the ones pulling my wagon. Are they different species of Yoshi, like, or can they interbreed? I don't know if I should ask that question. I'm going to ask you, chat. Should I ask that question? <laughs> yeah, I, th I also think they pulled the wagon. Yeah. I'm just getting my, my walls and roofs up. No? Okay. I won't ask that question. Also, are you guys as disturbed by this as me, or are you just amused by how disturbed I am by this? Or some of both? I'm assuming the correct answer is some of both, but you never know. Just yes. Okay. Make me some food, too. I'm getting hungry, Gimper. I'll take whatever you're having. Bonus points if it includes alcohol. Because I need it for this shit. I think, like, this just proves that Mario out of context is very disturbing. Like, if you think about Mario shit too hard, Mario's very dark. Just making ramps so I can make a nice, like, two-layered... roof thing. I should also probably make a panic bunker, shouldn't I? Let's see. What kind of above ground farming can I do? I'm just going to kind of assume most of my food is going to come from gathering stuff. Like I said, you're more than welcome to day drink. You're more than welcome to. I'm working, so I'm not allowed to drink. I also don't have any alcohol in my house. Partially because alcohol is expensive. I'm just making this little roof. And then we'll make this into our meeting hall and put some sort of bedrooms in it. Tea party panic room. Yes. But already regretting? What are you drinking, Goffer? We'll help you not regret that, hopefully. Because regret is the worst thing to be to have feeling when you're drinking, so. Try and not regret it. Just, just, just go all in on your decisions. If you make a decision, just own it. You know what I mean? Just a good old German beer. Gotcha. Something basic. I like these little high top ceilings. This is a design I've seen many people use, and I like it a lot. They're generally kind of my dwarfy designs, but... Tea Party Panic Room? Every UK household has one of those? I mean, do UK houses have basements? I 
I know that that sounds like a weird question, but basic from your local brew, good stuff. Okay, I don't need these ramps under the roof now. We'll we'll leave one just in case something lands up there. We need to get down. All right, I need a farmer. Let's read Koo. You felt love remembering a new romance. Please tell me it's not a Yoshi. Okay, phew. It's not a Yoshi. They're falling in love already. How beautiful. Um... Sit, chat, fill in Silver She for me, please. Also, tell Silver She I say hi. I'm too lazy to type. You guys have to type, so. Was annoyed without having a, after having a drink without a goblet, cup, or mug. I guess we should make mugs for our tea, yeah? Craftsman workshop, I guess, is the thing that I need. Probably two. I'm assuming I'll need a still. And a carpenter's workshop. See, what kind of crafts can we do? Let's give you wood crafting, stone crafting, bone carving, weaving and clothes making, I guess. Let's give somebody else a bunch of that stuff too. I feel like they would do pottery, but I don't know for certain. At least a well, probably. Just tell Silver she no one is dead yet and there are feral Goombas. Um, make me mugs, please. Also, I'm upset that these look almost identical still. I'm always annoyed by how close carpenters and craftsmen shops look. A wooden fan? What? What are fans for? A mallet? Should make some buckets, I think. Uh, I'm also going to make some some wooden cages. Some doors. We'll just let that get started for right now. One thing at a time. Oh, right. That's a rock mug. Duh. Uh, let's make wooden cups. Just a bunch of cups. And we'll, we'll get you... What can I get you to do out of wood? I don't know if any of these are important. I'm assuming none of them are. Um, I need a farmer. A field farmer. Farming fields. Go construct some buildings. Making trade goods? I guess I should make trade goods, actually, now that you mention it. I should probably make a trade depot. Uh... I'm assuming that still needs architecture, so I'll give you architecture. There you go. Uh, just keep in mind, it's not actually intended for the current version, so world gen is crashy as fuck. But um, just set your worlds to generate for five and crank your races up to max, and or just pause it before it hits like 30 to 40 years, because it tends to crash around 40 to 50. 
So just keep that in mind. I'm sorry, what? It's a question mark block. A mysterious block. Should I build stairs up to it and mine it? Can I mine it? So, Lewis, right? Lewis was my friend earlier who I said I'd DM who knows a lot about Mario. Um, you know how Mario, when you think about it really, really hard, gets really disturbing? You know, like what's inside of a toad's head, for example? Is it a brain or is it hair? Is it a hat? Can you take it off? That kind of stuff. Right. Well, Dwarf Fortress, the only thing it does is it super duper duper overthinks things. It gives things eyelids and blood vessels and t muscles and tendons. I'm playing a fortress or town, I guess, of toads. In a world filled with shy guys and koopas and feral goombas. And I have pet Yoshis. There's also tribes of Yoshis. Um, Yoshis can sing and talk. And eat you. And it's not pretty. And there's a question mark block there. I don't know what it does. But it's there. I can grow fuzz bushes and grape vines. Smiling turnip plants. Squat radish plants. Sweet beet plants. Sweet strawberry plants. If they talk, are they pets? I don't know, but I can train them. Also, this one's carrying a cup. This is a Pinto Heliishishiari, a stray brown Yoshi, who is currently carrying a cup to get a drink. Let's see what else is on the map. There's a flying block and a block. Wait, if it's not flying, then is this, oh. Oh, it's moving. Um, let's grow some, I don't know. Sweet strawberries. I feel like strawberries are kind of like our plump helmets. I'm just making a guess there. I do not know. But they seem to grow in every season. And I'll bet you we can probably eat raw strawberries. I'm just going to say, maybe don't cook any of these seeds or spawns. Just a, just a thought. Do I enjoy base building or mining? I don't think it matters what I enjoy, but the guide says that they don't like living underground. So I don't really care. I don't have any preference. I just like playing Dwarf Fortress. So I'm assuming they get upset if they stay underground too long. So they're probably like humans. Let's make a second carpenter shop. And um, you can have carpentry. Go be a carpenter. Looks like my other carpenter went and made that right quick. I can make wooden shields. I don't know if mallets are any good, but, or if I need them for anything. Let's make some doors. 
Uh, let's make some chairs. Make a bunch of chairs. Okay, fair enough. I also should probably start making uh, what I'm going to call the bunkhouse. Because I don't know how demanding they are for beds. Uh, so I will make bedrooms, but for right now, I'm just going to make another big building. And this is just going to have a bunch of beds in it. A slightly bigger... Well, actually, maybe the other building will be our bunkhouse. Yeah, let's let's make that smaller building into the bunkhouse, and this can be kind of the more meeting room area. We'll do that. Also, Metsus, it's good to see you. This is intended to just be a one-off, so if we crash and burn, the world's not going to end. I'm only really planning on streaming this today. But I have a weird feeling something's just going to show up and murder all of us. So what do we have close by? Just us, the tactical mushrooms. In theory. What happens if I turn on news? There's no news or happenings? Who do we have close by? Let's just peek around. Um, so this is the Beanish Hamlet. We have humans over here. More human Hamlets. Bubbles. More humans. More humans. There's the rest of my faction. More humans. More humans. Shy guys. Koopas. They're dark Koopas. More toads. They're part of our faction from the looks of things. More humans. More humans. Bubbles. Those are all the sieves. Normal DF question. You can go in on raids and go get treasure and stuff. Can you also go out and kidnap people from forts? Uh, you're just gathering information for a future cobalt fort? Um, no, you can't go out and take prisoners. You can just like... You can kidnap, yeah, you can steal livestock, but you can't steal people because there's no slavery in DF and no prisoners. Um, they can take you as prisoners, though. So be careful. All right, I have some doors now. So yeah, I'll make that into our bed chambers first and foremost, because I feel like that's probably important, because I'm seeing Yoshi's sleeping outside and stuff. I do like that these Yoshis are uh, bringing us beds. Refuse stuff is all the same. Too big for a toad to wield? Huh. Yet we seem to be able to make them. Or we seem to be able to make mallets, not big mallets, just mallets. Maybe it's like just a simple wooden sword? Or like a wooden warhammer type, type deal? 
That's kind of my assumption. You wish there was a quicker way? Uh, they're pretty quick. I've grown to like it over the years. The way roofs work. Because you can have a lot of cost customization. Like, this system is kind of like one of the faster ones. That or just make a single ramp and just do the one story things. But if you want to have, like, nice high ceilings, I just do them like that. And they're pretty quick. Like, this building style is very fast. Just make four corners. Put ramps all the way around the outside. Once you get the ramps up on the first layer. Build a inner thing of walls and build on top. You get pretty fast at it after a bit. Also, if you're not worrying about different materials, it's much faster. If you're worrying about mis specific materials, it slows down quite a bit. Yeah, we'll see you later, Aqua. Sorry that, like, we're running so slow, but, like, there's a lot of new stuff, so... Another thing that we can all look forward to, if this is amusing, then uh, look forward to the Star Wars Day. March 10th, and or not March 10th, um, May the 4th, and Revenge of the 5th. Because on those days, I will be playing Jawa Fortress. Oh no, that, that was a, those were all ramps. That's not what I wanted. I'm supposed to hit W for wall. Yeah, they'll go up on uh, YouTube whenever Cooler makes me a thumbnail. So, whenever that is. It's your mom's birthday, May the 4th. Do you ever wish her May the 4th be with her? Or is she not into that? Because I feel like if you like Star Wars... Like, if you're even just like a passive Star Wars person... You'd find that amusing. But if you kind if you're kinda of like me and you hate Star Wars, that would be kinda of like a curse. <laughs> or rather, I hate Disney's idea of Star Wars. I, I like the idea of Star Wars. I just don't like Disney's idea of Star Wars. Basically, I like the cheese of the original trilogy, and that's about it. And some of the old video games, you know, specifically the uh, Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy games. Those were fun back in the day. Dark Forces games, that shit. I kind of feel like most of the people, most people who are older than 16 who liked the original movies kind of feel that way. But there's definitely like a younger generation of people that love the prequels. I'm not quite sure what age category it is, but there are certainly people who like the prequels. I I don't like I I would even take like the original trilogy and the prequels over the Disney re reboot stuff. That 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 new trilogy just doesn't have any reason to exist as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, I'm sure there will be plenty of that sort of ramblings in May. Also, if we don't crash and burn today, I'm totally okay with Keeping this fort running a, for a little bit over the next week. If you guys want. I'd be okay with doing another day or two of this. Depending on how much this grabs me. I need some more. I need to hack down some more trees. We're running out of wood. I'm wondering now if there's like a a, a, a tree-loving elf equivalent in this. I think it, it highly depends on how fast it kills me, Metsis. Because generating a world in the current version is not pleasant. 
for this mod. Although I'm kind of impressed by how much my uh, licensed music is working for this. This is kind of fitting. Probably be boo bulbs. I don't think they trade either. And there are some boo bulbs up here, I think. No, these are Goombas. Um, there certainly are boo bulbs around. There's mole people too. There's a volcano right there. Totally didn't notice. Wait, hold on a second. What was that Goomba Fortress called? Limp Wealth. I saw the L and I read it as long drop. Crist Creep? Cyst Creep! Ugh. Gross. Alright, let's get this done. Second little house. But yeah, no, once you just, like, do a lot of construction in DF, you kind of just get used to the... weirdness of it. Feral Goomba is fighting? I feel like Goom Feral Goombas keep falling. Should check their thoughts. I felt insulted after getting into an argument. Felt fondness after remembering talking with a friend. Satisfied upon improving carpentry. I wonder if they changed something about their rendering for the new version, because colors feel sharper than the current version. I mean, don't they walk sideways up walls? Or am I going crazy? I swear to God that Goombas can like walk up and down walls sideways. Or am I like completely misremembering how Goombas work? Back from spring cleaning. Is it really time for spring cleaning already? Holy shit. Where did winter go? Um, still disturbed. I've got some structures built. I've got some farms made. Still working on stuff. Almost done with this roof. 10 days till spring? Really? No wonder I had a window open earlier today. Winter flew by this year. Holy crap. It's like, I feel like this music doesn't fit DF at all, but it... What do you guys think? Is the music fitting? It seems kind of fitting, at least for Mario. It's whimsy, whimsy enough. That's a fortification. Not a floor. Of course, there's some exciting music in there. But, you know, I, I'm thinking like Captain Toad fording off for adventure. I just, man. I mean, I'll be honest, I didn't think I'd really use much of this music because... Mostly playing, you know, normal ass door fort for with this music. It doesn't generally fit, but
Goofy little toadstools. As long as they're just fighting by falling and not fighting with me, I'm a wait, you know what? I want to know what that vermin was. What is that? A soprano frog? Soprano frog. Soprano frog? Is that a Mario thing or a Dorfort thing? <laughs> sweet strawberries. Cool. You got sweet strawberry plants growing. I guess I should make a food stockpile. I kind of want to make like a food cellar underground. But let's just make a food stockpile over here. Without seeds. I'm going to stick to the normal DF stuff. No seeds. Put everything else there. You're wondering if I'm okay with the haste... Oh, the, the one that you posted the other night? Yeah, no, that's totally fine. I don't care. Do what you want. As long as you're not putting me on, like... Racist memes or something. I, I don't really care. Basically be sane and, and do what you want and I don't care. Also, I don't know if LaFonda's lurking, but that cat's definitely put their butt on your keyboard before. You just haven't seen them. They will definitely do that. Crazy cat person. I like how we've been here for a season. So, for managers, we have captain, manager, head doctor, broker, and vault guard. Which the game tells me is a bookkeeper. Okay. So, we need a vault guard. New Vegas is a two-hour download? Holy shit, man. How big is New Vegas? Isn't that game kind of old? let them finish constructing all of this. Oh, I haven't started working on any tables yet. Make a bunch of tables and a bunch of chairs. I thought I already did that, but I guess not. What, LaFont? I mean, that's almost correct spelling. I mean, that's not too far off from what I said, all things considered. <laughs> Make a food stockpile here for seeds. I'm just going to use normal DF rules in my brain. And let's also put a wood stockpile here. At least we have a dormitory set up. And I can place some more beds. Need a few more, I think. Who LaFonda is? Uh, LaFonda is uh, somebody who watches the stream, just like you, who is on the Discord posting pictures of their cat. Cats. Three total. This cat. And this was the image I was looking at when I was commenting on cat's butt's gonna go on that keyboard. Almost put her butt on my keyboard. She's going to do that. Probably already has, twice. Maybe more. Also, that keyboard is severely lacking in numpad dumb. It needs more numpad. 
I don't know where it got phone number pad from, but pretty sure I just said numpad. Let's knock these trees down. What is that tree? Oh, it's an apple tree. What the fuck are them W's? A wiggler? I think I actually know what a wiggler is, but let me double check what a wiggler is. What a time for the spooky music. Wigglers, chat. These motherfuckers. A large insect that lives in a forest. It's normally peaceful, but prone to fly into a berserk rage if provoked. Well, hopefully they'll just walk away. Those are cute? Sure. Oh, right. Silver She can't hear me. Can someone tell Silver She what I'm talking about? Not hostile? I mean, it's just a wild animal. So I'm assuming it's just like any other big, potentially. There's a bunch of dead Cheep Cheeps on the map. I don't know what killed the Cheep Cheeps, but there's a bunch of deceased Cheep Cheeps on the map, chat. So that's the thing. I'm going to start placing chairs. Um, I'm also going to set this as a inn slash tavern. The olive of whiskey. Chat, I need to know what we should call this inn slash tavern. I need a good toad tavern name. Toady tavern? Toad tavern? Toad, 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 toad. Uh, The juice of whiskey? Juice of fruits? The juice of fruits, because they drink juice. That's what I'm going to go with. The juice of fruits. Juicy fruits. Isn't that a gum? Pretty sure it's a gum. You got smiling turnips. I'm also just going to, um, jump to you who has farming and going, go into your farming and related tasks and also give you plant gathering and just do this. Let's gather a little bit of everything. I'm going to make a still. And a kitchen. The rotten mushroom? You're a rotten mushroom. That would be like a dead corpse, man. That's a little dark. Let's brew drinks from plants and brew drinks from fruits, I guess. I mean, rootin' is very different. <laughs> a rotten, godforsaken mushroom. Rooting and tooting. How was, uh... How was the very broken video game, Bellinger? Stronghold Warlords. We're playing the um, Super Mario Brothers mod. And apparently, I have a bunch of Yoshis who are all hauling Applewood cups. And uh, they are performing a dance. I'm very curious what dance these mushrooms are singing. The Flute of Playing is a social group dance originating in the entrancing cakes. Okay. Um... 
The heliotrope drum is a form of music used for entertainment, originating in the entrancing cates. cakes. The form guides the musicians during improvised performances. A chanter recites nonsensical words and sounds. The melody has a short phrases throughout the form. Only one pitch is ever played at a time, and it is performed in pecu rhythm. Pekibu rhythm? Pikabu? Anyway. So they're dancing while holding applewood cups, while the toads do all of the hard work. It's a pretty intricate little dance. It's a new RTS to play in lack of better ones. That's kind of what it looks like. But I feel like I would just rather go play an old one. <laughs> but, you know. If that's what you need in your life, I guess. Yeah, I know. I don't really care about the rhythm structure in this instance, though. I more just wanted the names. I could read into the whole rhythm structure. I'm very well aware of how the dance generation works because I, I like to read that stuff sometimes. I'm just too concerned with everything that's going on to really dig into that. Also, I need to go get food, so I'm waiting for a good opportunity to go get food. I'm just kind of waiting for them to finish hauling all of this wood, and then I'm going to pause the game, and then I'm going to go get food, because I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't trust this game. This is Wigglers on the map right now. I'm also expecting us to get some migrants soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Kind of sounds like it's not worth your time from the gist I get. All right. I'm uh, going to pause the game. I'm going to turn the camera off. Chat, I'm going to go get lunch, okay? I'm going to be a couple of minutes because I haven't made anything, so I need to make myself toast. Um, if you happen to have sound commands, now's a good time to use them to entertain the chat. And if you're subscribed to the channel, if I could get a round of beers, promoting the, the, the beer emote. And uh, if you don't happen to have the beer emote, you can use... Uh, the uh, beers emoji or the beer emoji. And uh, if you're uh, interested in getting sound commands, you can find those over on exclamation point Patreon. Um, because this is my full-time living. So thank you very much to everybody who has the emotes because you guys are the ones that help me pay my bills. Or if you've been gifted one, then the person who gifted it to you is the person who helped me pay my bills. I will be back in a couple minutes. Beer be. for everyone!
All right, I return. I made it back. I'm back alive. Streamer's not dead, but I am slightly well fed. I'm going to uh, just punch some stuff in on my food. Diary thing that I have to keep. So I know what my blood sugar was. A little bit low, which is why my brain was a little loopy, but that's okay. Should be good now, though. All right. Our little toads are moving again. Uh, we're getting a little low on drinks, so I need to... I just need to, I think, assign a brewer. I'm assuming I need a brewer? I don't actually know. But you're brewing drinks. So you take a barrel and what I think is a strawberry. No, it's a poison mushroom. Well, the Yoshis seem to like holding cups. Like, they almost appear to be wielding cups. Other than creature types? Um, creatures, gear, races, uh, playable races, um, world generation, factions. Uh, there's, like, powers that you can summon, like meteor showers and earthquakes. Um, you can just, here, here's the, 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 the quick start guide, which is air quotes, work in progress. That's what it does. Yeah, it's an overhaul. It's not like a little creature skin pack. It's, it's an overhaul mod. I mean, obviously using like the basic Dwarf Fortress framework for like construction and brewing and keeping your people alive and happy, but yeah, it's it's very much its its own thing. What if they just stuck the cup in their mouth? I I don't know. I'm not here to ask that question. I mean. It says he's hauling it. Um, also, the Yoshis are naked, so those Yoshis are dancing with toads. They seem to really like dancing. I can also allow the uh, Yoshis to be pets, which I kind of want to do. They're telling a story. Toad Giryu, Veil Garnish, became the captain of the Tactical Mushrooms, which is us. Although this mod is not supposed to run on this version of Dwarf Fortress, but we haven't had any crashes in game yet. Only crashes in World Gen, so that's a good sign. I'm going to make some more beds. Um... And then we're going to start working on walls, because I don't know what the fuck's going to come kill me, but something's going to. We've also got Wrigglers. They also seem to have, like, animal behaviors and stuff from, like, Mario lore. Also, because Dwarf Fortress does the super-duper-duper duper overthinking of everything. This is still kind of still answering Bellinar's question. Um you'll get, like, gritty combat descriptions of Mario creatures fighting. So if you ever wanted that for some reason, this game has that. So, Yoshis, I love that they help build, but I don't trust them. I feel like a Yoshi is just going to kill me. Like it's going to drop me into an endless pit or something. Just working on walls. 
Never trust a Yoshi. Yeah, you see, I... It's gonna run away right when you need it. Don't guild the Yoshis? I can guild the Yoshis. Gelding the Yoshis is an option. I always thought that Yoshis repu re 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 bleh, reproduced asexually because Yoshi can just, like, lay an egg, but... I guess that there's a daddy Yoshi somewhere. Stuff I guess I've never really thought about, nor wanted to think about. And poop out the, the, the eggs? Well, not, not in this. There's male and female Yoshis. I don't know if they both lay eggs, but... This, this mod has already taken me to places on the Mario Wiki I didn't want to know existed, so there is that. The male is the saddle and the female is the dinosaur? I don't think that's accurate. But good theory. We will leave it there so it can die. Thank you for your contribution to this stream, Zane. <laughs> That's just a theory. A game theory. It's too bad game theory never covered good games like Dwarf Fortress. Imagine how much content they would have. Seemingly endless. But they just don't want to learn smart people games. Assassin's Creed is a much bigger market, I guess. I feel like Game Theory would kill it if they went after the Dwarf Fortress market, but... Unfortunately, I doubt we'll ever actually get that. Not that I would watch it, because I don't like Game Theory, but that's a different topic for a different day. Uh, overhang walls are. Normal walls are not. L one layer walls are not particularly helpful. Overhang walls are very helpful. Although I'm more concerned with my enemies just flying in this, because Goombas can fly and Koopas can fly, so. <laughs> That's more what I'm afraid of here. Instead, they did dozens of Five Nights at Freddy's theories. Yeah, no, they were excellent marketing for Five Nights at Freddy's. This is still terrifying. I never thought that I'd be streaming with a tab of the Super Mario Brothers wiki open. Just got an email about a game that's very well written, and I have absolutely no interest in the game whatsoever from the look of it. <laughs> and it's, like, directed directly at me and, like, mentions Dwarf Fortress and shit. I'm sitting here going, like... I mean, well done, but... You made the wrong kind of game for me. Not my kind of shtick. There's a Mario more mod for DF. Um, no, it's way more complicated than that. Although I am getting a migrant wave right now. What did I get? An architect, a jeweler, and a child. We're playing Toads. And uh, 
there's feral Goombas running around, and we have a bunch of Yoshis that are currently, like, telling stories and singing. What are you telling stories about, Yoshi? Toad Some Deer Bars became the champion of the Entrancing Cakes. The Yoshis are telling stories. I now have 20 Toads. All right, so my numbers just went up considerably. Although, actually, I have 15 Toads and 5 Yoshis. 15 Toads and 5 Yoshis. This is more than just a mod, though. Alien Slayer. It's a total overhaul. So it isn't just a, here are some Mario-themed animals. Nah, this is a, this is the real fucking deal. This is everything. Which is very scary. Just trying to get something that could be considered defenses up and running. Let's do this, because I need to dig out and underneath this. But yeah, no, I've been aware of this mod for ages. I've just never really done anything with it. And this is my first time ever actually touching it, so. So far, so good. But how you doing today, Alien Slayer? And today is Mario Day, so I figured it would today would be a good day to... Uh, You know, do this stuff. Also, King. I know chickens can lay eggs, but they don't necessarily need to be fertile. However, Yoshis still come out of those eggs. Without another Yoshi being around. So I always just figured that Yoshis just fertilize their own eggs. That was the assumption I've been running under for most of my adult life. And uh, turns out that is not the case. There is male and female Yoshis. So... Whoops. Look at me, I fucked up. <laughs> Any questions? How have you been, by the way, King? How has your 2021 been? Feels like it's been a little while since we said hi. Yeah, big whoops. Yeah, big whoops me. Like I was saying earlier, though. Um, as I was saying earlier, you know, I... Uh, I've paid more attention to Super Mario Brothers lore today than I have in the entirety of my life. So, this is all new, weird, strange, and mysterious to me. I need more coffee. That's a pretty cute little town, though, so far. Also, let's see if I can grow grapes and other things up here. Sweet beets? I don't know. Uh, smiling turnips? Might as well plant other things. Let's make some more barrels. Yeah, fair enough, man. I know how that shit goes. It's been a weird year already. Last year was weird, and this year has just been weirder. I don't like very much. All right, let's do some of this. 
But, you know, that's what streams are for, right? Hopefully. Feral Goomba fell out of a tree or something. I am very... I cannot describe by, about how concerned I am by most of the stuff that I'm seeing in this mod. I just... I cannot describe it. Words cannot describe the levels of concern that I'm feeling. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about dwarven construction, and turns out, knowledge of how dwarves work uh, are pretty interchangeable with toads. Also, investments are open, chat. You can invest your tickets if you'd like. Glad I could be of service, King. My brain is currently dripping out of my ear a little bit, but we're okay. Just a little bit. I mean, like, I was originally planning on playing Patreon game and stuff tonight, but I think I'm probably just going to play this all day. <laughs> I mean, it is a uh, uh, an annual holiday, after all. I mean, it's, it's Mario Day. It's a very important holiday. I'm just going to cut all this out so that I can go over top of us. That'll be fine. Let's get rid of that, even though they can't use it. Let's throw some flooring down there. That's all we can do for right now, so that's fine. Always so many zombies? Where are you seeing zombies? In your world? You know you can turn off necromancers, right? If you really don't want any necromancers or zombies, you can just turn them off. Did I get him in? I don't know if I did. I think I didn't. It's the evil biome? Well, then why'd you settle in an evil biome? That's on you, then. I think I did, and I think I lost him. Rip. Then don't complain. You know, sure, like, yeah, live on the edge, but, like... Yeah, if, if you do that to your... What? The stray green Yoshi has been infected with a virus? What? Cold virus. There's just a floating cold virus out in the world? Huh. Do you imagine a Yoshi with a runny nose? What happens if a Yoshi sneezes? <laughs> yeah, Yoshi got a fucking cold, apparently. the heck? I don't know why I can't build that, but whatever. 
I'll just let them keep doing what they're doing. Is that a link I can open on stream without getting slapped? Because I have a feeling it's a bad thing. I don't trust Nintendo. Does it have any Nintendo sound effects in it whatsoever? Because if so, I probably shouldn't open it. <laughs> Den Para, you're an architect. You can also have mining. Well, that's a, a task you can go help with. Uh, never mind. A section of cavern has collapsed. Um, I thought I, like, made that safe, but I guess not. Anyway, uh, that architect went and died. Anybody else want to take the job? You're a peasant. Here, you, you go grab that pick. Um, I guess I should figure out how to make a coffin. <laughs> Um, casket, I guess. Wooden caskets. Whoops. I hope they don't get too easily scarred. Uh, uneasy after seeing a dead body. Interested after watching a performance. At least you're generally pretty happy. Oops. Okay, well, I fortunately, that's not something I really need to see. Poor Toad, we hardly knew you. I mean, they were, you know, just an arch architect. Like, that's not super useful. I mean, it's the first of the deaths. And that was a genuine, just like, normal whoopsies. Also, what time of year is it? Late summer? Hmm. I kind of want to dig down to cavern layers just to see what I find. This is where I'm going to put the caskets. I'm going to give them a little tomb. I also seem pretty happy. Also, another reason why I want to play on this version is because... I can be a little bit more clueless, and I'm sure they'll just, like, figure things out. Because they're going to be a lot better at making friends than they would be in an older version. I mean, speaking of warp pipes, I should probably make a whatever the fuck an unpacking station is. An unpacking station. I don't know what that is, but I should do that. Um, a star beacon. I also don't know what the fuck that is, but I should make it. Uh, a vim extractor. I also don't know what the fuck that is, but I should make it. And a toad house. I also don't know what the fuck it does, but I should make it. And I did I queue up a requests office? I don't think I did. Um, which is S. Those are all, like, the mod-specific buildings for toads. A Yoshi dancer is visiting. Oh, would you look at that? Clearly, what the fuck's a vim? You care to explain? Thanks, Katsu. Dwarves are just leaving your fort? Dwarves don't just leave your fort, so what are you doing to make your dwarves just leave? Needs alchemy. Ah. Needs the it doesn't exist skill. It's quite the dance they're performing. It's dangerous due to random zombies. Uh, learn how to use burrows. I don't know. I, I Sorry if I'm not super helpful, but if you're playing with, like, if you're playing in an evil biome and you're having problems with that stuff, like, you probably shouldn't be playing in an evil biome. <laughs> That's generally, like, kind of my rule set for that. It's like, if you have to ask those kinds of questions, you're not ready to play in an evil biome. So good luck. Have fun.
On why your rabbit is flashing a blue question mark? It's trying to path somewhere. It's confused. Meaning you probably have a locked door or something? Autumn has come. There we go. Cool. So the one poor little guy got buried. Still have some drinks, which is good. Toad House. Right? A flyer. All right, you, since you're a farmer, will also just give you plant processing. So once you're done planting all these seeds, you can go over there and build whatever the fuck that thing is. Safe to ignore? Yeah. It's a rabbit. You can ignore rabbits. Doesn't really matter what they do. As long as it's still rabbit rabbiting, then you're good. If it stops rabbiting and stops breathing, then you then you have a problem. Otherwise, it's it's still rabbit, so it it's fine. It's sight. It's when it ceases to rabbit that you have to be concerned. It's confused about something, basically. Might be trying to mate, looking for a mate if it's a male one. Um, and if you don't have a mate, it'll question mark for a bit. I don't know. There's, there's a few things that could cause it. None of which are really concerning. And if you're really concerned about it, just slaughter it. That's generally my, uh, my order of operations is just slaughter it. Why am I not allowed to make this? What? So confused by this. Weird. Okay. Just trying to make a pretty easy to defend thing. Then we'll run through the middle of this and pull all of those out. And then we'll finish putting the second layer on and we'll be pretty well defended. Can, I can construct little houses up on the upper layer up here. It'd be nice. I'm sure the little toads will love it. I'm just happy things seem to be working just fine. Like my tests showed. Because like... I did the test last night. I generated three worlds, no issue, no crashes, um, and constructed a fort, no issues. And it all worked just fine. Um, and then today, we had tons of crashing in world gen and lots and lots of problems until I finally managed to just get it working. And now it seems to be not crashing again. So it seems to be fine in-game in the current version, but world gen seems a little fucky. So I guess, like, if you want to try playing this mod in the world gen, have an old install, generate a world in the old install, and then move it over to the new one. Seems to be kind of the best order of operations there. All right, well, there's our full little set of walls. Get a mechanic shop constructed. <laughs> Needs alchemy. I need another dwarf with alchemy, I think. You're a mason. Can I give you architecture and alchemy?
Because alchemy is a non-skill in the in the main game, but in modders use it to do things quite frequently. So almost every overhaul mod uses alchemy for everything that isn't normal tasks. Yeah, I don't know. I also don't know what any of these are for, so I guess we'll find out. So a star beacon. Holy fuck. Obtain star rod. Obtain star rod. Star beams, supernova, showstopper, sweet feast, timeout. The fuck is this shit? There's so much here. Why is this thing so in depth? Why? <laughs> That's what I have to ask for most of this mod at this point, is just why. And a royal messenger has arrived. Little uh, Yoshi pulled things. Who are these people? A small mushroom creature that enjoys peaceful living. Her slow, slightly close set black eyes are narrow. Her somewhat short head is narrow. Her skin is pale brown. Her mushroom cap is white with red spots. Mushroom Illuminati. I am your liaison. I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation, says Adson Kuratsu. The world is the same as ever. It's only five years old. What request do you have of our merchants? I don't fucking know. I don't know what I need. Um, I should look at the pets section. What pets do you have? Moomoos. What is it? There's a, there's D balls, there's snooze sheeps, there's oinks, there's beanlets, all of the Yoshis. Um. Let's ask for a little bit of everything. I don't have any trade goods, so. Uh, well, at the very least, clothing seems to be very much simplified. Trousers, shields, bucklers, all that stuff. Uh, I don't, I don't know what I should be ordering. <laughs> One of each, please. I mean, Yoshi's are new and exciting, so I want all of the Yoshi's. Uh. I'm gonna ask for some meat. I don't know how the fuck you make bee meat, but I'll also order some humming tadpoles. Um, a bunch of juices. Sets of bongos? They just straight up have bongos. Let's discuss what we're willing to offer you for your craftsmanship. They want sheet seeds, earrings, windows, large gems, legwear, footwear, quivers, meat, and drinks. I look, I look forward to our meeting next year. Our fortunes rise and fall together. Go, go, power Yoshi. Um. Oh, shit. They made that other thing. The Vim Extractor. Extract Vim to Jar. All right. Well, I don't know what Vim is. This star beacon is something that's scary. Like, how the fuck do I get shining coins? Oh, right. I need rock. I'm 
gonna make a downstair. So they don't like being underground. So I'm just gonna dig down to like layer 12. Depends on where they're extracting it from. I think the answer to that is, of course it hurts. I found iron. Well, that's cool. Let's just mine out all of that. Um, I don't know what blinds say. Is this like a what the fox say situation? Sweet radish. We have a bunch of wine. I think I'll just sell them some grape juice. And a bunch of wooden logs. Because what the fuck else am I going to sell them? I'll also sell them some cups. Fortunately, I appear to have plenty of juice, so. They're very, like, con they're constantly singing, which is kind of cool. They have Yoshi mechanics? Hammer Toad! <laughs> Sorry, the concept of Hammer Toads are very funny to me. <laughs> Toad sings Silent Night? I'm not even going to try. Yeah, exactly. A bop toad. Audio know what up. Toad go bop. It's like Hammer Toad. Or Hammer Toad is like Hammer Time, but with toads. Also, let's just do this. What? Oh, it's because I'm set to automate, duh. Rookie mistake. That's gonna be my, uh, my query, if you will. What are you linking? <laughs> I mean, basically that, except like replace that image with a toad. I've also never played a Dragon's Quest game, so yeah, I've never seen those little dudes before. They seem pretty chill, though. All right, um, I need someone to go trade. So I think I need one of you. How about I set all of these to the same job? So you're the broker, and you're currently performing a dance. So the broker, maybe Inwa, I think. Can I not set you to multiple things? All right, fine. The vault guard can be somebody different, and uh, you can be my doctor. Um, this chair can be assigned to my broker. No, it can be assigned to my vault guard because that's who needs it. You've only played Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I've never been a a Dragon Quest guy. Perfect. Um, let's request the broker come trade at depot. And trade. Let's see. Well, they brought a bunch of bars. Did you bring an anvil? They brought a bunch of grapes. As well as a bunch of strawberries. 
Bunch of cheese. Sees. Super mushrooms. Those are expensive. Shell creeper meat. Fly fin tissue. Star bunny pelt. They also brought hammers. I feel like I should take a hammer. But I don't have much money. They brought a bunch of Yoshis for sale. They're selling Yoshis. Also, Yoshis are singing and dancing and telling poetry and stories. Is your wood flesh? Uh, you know what? I, I have no answers to those questions. So I don't know, Zane. But toad wood is a type of tree. They appear to just be regular trees. I'm just going to buy some of these. I'm also going to buy some of that. And I don't know if moods are going to happen, but I'm going to buy some more fuzzy cloth. But yeah, I, you're asking questions that I do not have the answers to. So I have no idea. Zane. I am. I have no idea. And you know what? Frankly, I'm kind of totally okay with that. <laughs> My little toads are mining underground. Cool, Bailey's. Enjoy it. I'm uh, playing a mod that doesn't give Nintendo any money. Because it's totally not affiliated with anything Nintendo. We have some more uh, migrants. Look at them dancing. They seem to be pretty happy. You know, just dancing over there. Everything seems proper weird. Super mushroom doubles you toad. You're gonna doubles your toad's dimensions, like doubles their size. Interesting. <laughs> right, you're a gem setter. I'm actually gonna give you mechanics. So you can go make me some rock mechani mechanism mechanisms. Eight times the size? Permanently? Okay, so they seem to be able to just eat raw fruit. A feral Goomba seems to have gone splat out of a tree. Just looking for things I don't recognize on here. Pretty standard. Furnaces. Oh. Needs local warp pipe section. Local warp pipe section. Ah. Where are local warp pipes made? I mean, I need a manager, so... Let's see if I can give it to the vault guard. There you go. You. Vault guard. Does anybody know where uh, warp pipes are created? <laughs> I need to know for science. 
Lasts for nearly a month. Huh. Also... Hmm. Mario knows? Well, I mean, hold on a second. Let, let, let me... If you if you want to be a, a, a use, not useful, I will just go warp pipe. You have access to warp pipe technology. Yoshis need to eat and drink to survive. They will eat from stockpiles like your regular citizens. But you need to an open water source to drink from. Murky pools will suffice in a pinch. But if you embark on a desert or a glacier, you will need to venture into the caverns or quickly create an artificial pool via warp pipe. Warp pipes. Mysterious, the mysterious vim that flows in the bodies of the toads has a surprising mystical quality to it. When concentrated and refined, it acquires the power to warp the fabric of space itself. This miraculous substance, I'm reading from the guide, okay? The miraculous substance has been used in the basis for creating coveted, the, the coveted green metal used in warp pipe technology. So they're made out of toad blood? Yeah, you juice your toads, exactly. Does it kill them? To produce a warp pipe, you will need several barrels of alcohol, five empty jars, and a toad to extract fresh vim. Okay. <laughs> I... What? Why? You, you're asking me this? I don't know. Gold jar, silver jar. Can I make wood? Okay. What a dark turn. This is Dwarf Fortress we're talking about. You're surprised that there's darkness? You have received 100 bits from a Twitch power group research study. Thank you, Twitch, for the dollar. I'll go give that to Bellinair tomorrow. Actually, I think I could just do this. Uh... Cheer 100. There we go. Have a dollar, Bellinair. All right. I've struck a Mario? No, I struck a Morion. Not a Mario. <laughs> You're welcome, Bellinair. It's the shitty money month for streamers. It's basically shitty money month until April. When April hits, then money gets less shitty. I'm going to make a lever and put it in here. And that's going to close my gates. <laughs> so you're saying Morian then Lessian? Is that what you're suggesting? Very funny. Feral Goombas are fighting. Fucking Shroom Boy Kingdoms, let me tell you. Also, apologies if I go silent, because I, I, I'm probably just reading the guide in the background.
How are those jars coming on? No constructed shop. Where are jars made? I kind of figured that they'd be made at craftsman shops. They are. Go make wooden jars, you weirdo. There go the humans. A minor Kong poet. Happy March and I hope your day is going well, D. Thanks for the dollar, Dark Skynet. That is one third of my bits revenue today. Thank you very much. Minor Kong, a mighty ape named Granky. Shoutouts to Granky Kong, chat. And can I get a round of beers for the dollar? Cheers, Dark Skynet. We're playing the uh, Super Mario Brothers Mushroom Kingdom overhaul mod for Mario Day, which I, I think you figured out. But The mighty ape found in the forest, while normally docile, they have been known to kidnap people when in the mood, when the mood takes them. His somewhat narrow ears... My survey bits. I guess here is as good a place as any. If anybody else has 100 survey bits, that's a survey bit type train. I don't know if I can push that one too far, but thanks for the dollar. Cheers. They have been known to kidnap people in a certain video game once. His somewhat narrow ears are splayed out. His, he has a narrow chin and his lips are thick. His slightly protruding gray eyes are narrow. His body hair is burnt sienna. So the minor Kong is a G. A blue G. What a good guy. They're like this, basically. But they're thin. But they're out. Like that. I guess is what that would mean. But thanks, guys, for the two bucks. You've doubled my daily bits revenue. So cheers. Back at you, guys. All right, I'm going to cut back this area a little bit. Just a little bit. We are going to use that upper layer, but one thing at a time. And that lever was built, so let's hook these up to bridges. There we go. Which means I can actually lock the little base down now, if needed. Yeah, the Miner Kong is now in my, in my tavern. There you are, this guy. Look at this little guy. I want the Minor Kong to sing something. I can get another coffee? Wait, what? Why do I get another coffee now? I still have my first coffee. Which I've been nursing, which is cold. There's a feral Goomba corpse. Um... I guess I should make a corpse stockpile. <laughs> Does the King Kong sing songs? I don't know. Good question. But children still do as they pleases. So do the Yoshis, it seems. They just kind of like hang out and build stuff and drink my booze and my juice. Bunch of assholes. Okay, so they've started making those wooden jars. Extract, extract vim to jar. Let's see what happens when I extract vim. There we go. Somebody is extracting Vim to Jar. This little guy is extracting Vim to Jar. Are you extracting it from yourself? Also, what the fuck are them's? 
A bitty bug? What's a bitty bug? I don't know what anything in Mario is. That's what I've learned from today. Bitty, bitty bud. Although apparently they're bud, not a bug, but you know, whatever. Bitty bud. They're from Super Mario 3D Land and in World and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I recognize these things because, you know, like Mario Kart and shit. I swear to God, if the Toads start, like, killing themselves, I'm going to be very distressed. She is skinny. Her body is blue. Her body... Are, her body are striped. Her body are, okay, her body are striped yellow. And black, her eyes are white. Are striped yellow. Her body are striped yellow and black, and her eyes are white. Okay. I mean, you totally just said it, but, you know. Okay, well, at least they didn't kill themselves in the process. All right, so what can I do now? Can I... Where is local warp pipes made? Uh, to produce a warp pipe, you'll need... Barrels of alcohol, five empty jars, and a toad to extract fresh vim. Uh, a craft toad's workshop takes two warp pipe sections to create a warp pipe. Once you have five jars of, five jars of vim, they must be refined to create a single jar of azoth. You know, I need... Oh, hold on a second. I need to go to the wiki, the Mario wiki, and just type in Azoth and Vim. And neither of them pop up with anything. So this is just purely bullshitted for the Dwarf Fortress mod. Okay, good to know. Um, I mean, you're a mod, hence why you needed to say it. Green grassland produces free food. Sandy desert produces unlimited sand. So basically, like, these warp pipes make unlimited resources. So, like, you just get... If you make a warp pipe to the green grassland, you just get free food. It just produces you food. So I guess, like, go jump into the pipes and bring shit out of them? Oh, probably, King. Probably. Then how come it didn't pop up on the Mario Brothers fandom wiki? It's a shitty wiki, then. Okay, so I need to make a pipe section. So I need to go here and go wood pipe to... And then I guess they'll treat it once there's five Vim. Just extract a bunch of Vim to jars, I, I, I guess. Just a word for energy or enthusiasm? I, it's a word I've never heard before, so, you know, I guess you learn something every day, right? What's that green thing? Okay, so those are all just bitty bugs. We got a Yoshi dancer and a minor Kong poet. Well, I mean, they're extracting Vim to jars. I mean, from now on, it's going to be like the internals of a toad in my brain. Regardless of what it's supposed to be, that's what it's going to mean for me forever now. 
Also, plant processing is the job that they do to extract vim. So think about that. They are processing plants. They are plants. <laughs> they are processing the plants to extract vim from themselves. This is Sparta! Today is the day. Finally, I'm gonna get it. It's been a grind, but I'm getting it now. Crypt Paywall 2. Well, you have to cheer it before you get Crypt Paywall 2, but now you can have Crypt Paywall 2? Thank you very much for the 300 bits. And uh, you single-handedly uh, doubled today's bits revenue. So thank you. Cheers, man. You have acquired a door. How do you feel? Um, my toads are extracting Vim from themselves. I don't feel anything about this. I still don't know where they create local warp pipes. I guess they do that at the Crafts Dwarf's jaw. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the craftsman shop. Yeah, they these things. Uh, rub magic amulet. There's magic amulets. Uh, we're supposed to be done here, but, um, sometimes you just got to debate a B log, you know? Oh, look at that. The, what? The armor cancels drink. Reason unconscious. Okay, so he's up here. But on the corner of this... What the... What the fuck is that? Whisk soap? A smear of this guy's whisk soap. this shit. I need help, chat. Why did I think this would be a good idea? This is a terrible idea. <laughs> Also, I like the fact that Vim's name's just Vim, and we're just quietly ruining Vim's name. It's a brand of laundry detergent? I'm sure it is. No, it doesn't. Scrump it. It doesn't. I still want to vomit. All right, um... Why did somebody make this? Although I'm sure this is probably the right response. At the weeding? That's a weird way to spell wedding. Also, this is my whimsical playlist. Mixed with the exciting playlist. That's the exciting playlist. There's a Kong poet. Kididi, hold on a second. I need to read your name again. What does that say? Kididi, Tidi, Kididi, Kid Dinky, Zank and Winksy. That sounds like something that like Donkey would say. It's a capital G. It's a full size fucking Kong. Look at that shit. He big. He a chonky boy. Uh, 
I mean, okay. So, this guy's been taking Vim out of himself. And he's flickering like he's injured. <laughs> Kid Dinky Zonk Winksy. Yep. Why do I have a feeling that King has downloaded this mod in the time I've been playing this? I feel like this mod was actually just made for King. Is there any other weird workshops I'm missing here? Oh, let's check the unpacking station. What do you do? Open blocks? Oh! Oh, I need to get the blocks and make them... Okay. It seems to be, yeah. At least I got plenty of drinks. No, King's a fox, not a Kong. I am very disturbed by everything that is happening here. I'm still trying to figure out how to make a warp pipe. It's like... I got the Craftsman Workshop. But the Craftsman Workshops don't seem to do anything to do with pipes. It's a Carpenter's, duh. I can't read what that says. Convert picks from mining? Oh, you make picks into battle picks. Huh. I'm going to look at the guide again. It takes two warp pipe sections to create a warp pipe. All right, I got two wooden pipe sections. But once you create one, it can be easily dismantled and recreate, reconstruct. Hold on, maybe I just need to, like, place it. Um, needs local warp pipe section and needs a grassland warp pipe section. Well, it's in the furnace area. Um, oh, that's how I make him into Azoth, from there. So I guess I just need to keep extracting them to jars? Alrighty, I'll try my best. It's already failing, Diamond. I'm already very traumatized. I really hope they're not eating the Vim. Or anything weird like that. Let's just make 50 wood jars. Let's just make a bunch of jars. Get all that stuff done. Also, I'm pretty sure they're warp pipes, not portals.
Really hope that my Yoshis don't start getting thirsty. So if another question mark block shows up, I need to go mine it. Or go kill it, or something. I need to try and select it and do something with it. Winter is upon us, sight. God damn. Just, just go to sleep, Diamond. Just, just go to sleep. It's not gonna get any better unless you just go to sleep. So just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. And chat, could we all tell Diamond Destruct to go to bed? That might be a good idea. I'd swear to God he's extracted five Vim from himself. He's got to have. Just gonna leave that on repeat. I got more toads making jars than I have toads extracting vim. This is very distressing. I'm out of sweet strawberry seeds, oh no. I just, I'm, I'm, I was kind of hoping that we would, you know, you know, actually hold, you know what I need to do? I need to go to my animals and I need to war train all my Yoshis. That's something I need to do. And um, I'm gonna try making a nest box. I'm gonna try making a nest box for my Yoshis. I'm just gonna kind of assume that they need to lay eggs in nest boxes. With visceral images of the horrors that you read about during the day. Here's the thing. We haven't actually had that many horrors. I was... I, I kind of need to, like, you know, make a... You know, a squad. But... We're a bit of a ways off. Also, we haven't gotten that many migrants. Like, we're only at, what, 24 total? But I think we got another hour and a half, two hours left in this run, at the very least. So, we'll see if I can figure out how to make uh, portals. But I mean pipes. I still can't seem to concentrate the vim. Does anybody know anything about concentrating Vim? Or has anybody seen anything on the guide about concentrating Vim? Uh, we're playing the Super Mario Brothers mod for this game, and it's a fucking nightmare, Rusty. And it's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're just slowly killing themselves. Annoyed after suffering a minor injury. I'll bet you that I need a hospital. Hold on. <laughs> Let's just make this corner of this room into a hospital. Apparently toads just like survive off of self-harm. Yeah, it's quite literally just bloodletting. Cancels construct, horrified. Did you see somebody die? Oh yeah, he did fucking kill himself. There you go. So yeah, no, they, they will just like kill themselves extracting them. Okay, good to know. One of our toads has been found dead. He extracted too much vim. Remember how I was like, they better not kill themselves doing that. Well, they just did. So...
I mean, you you did indeed say that it was their life force, yes. But also, like, did any of us actually expect that to happen? Because I don't think so. Hey, Ozzy, what's up, dude? Oh, yep, looks like we do need nest boxes. I'm going to forbid those Yoshi eggs. Let's get some baby Yoshis up in here. Look at all those Yoshi eggs that I'm sure we're about to cook and eat. I, I've definitely... Extracted five vim. Let's suspend that. Why? Uh, they won't cook them if they're fertilized. But even if they are, they'll still cook them. I don't... Fucking know. The reason I forbid those ones is so that they'll get sat on and tended to. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep working on trying to figure out how to make these pipes because, like, I definitely have five vim, and if, like, I if I go to my stocks, is it under V? No, it'll probably be under tools. Like, it's not telling me how many of them are full. Maybe it's under liquids. Oh, I do have two Azoth. Okay. So maybe that's an auto job? Is it under workshop labors, maybe? I don't know. Okay, how the heck do I make a local pipe section then? Maybe I need a pipe factory? That's probably the problem. That's what we're missing. I did not notice the pipe factory the first time. Let's try that. I'm very sorry. Why would you spend money on a bad game like that, Ozzy? Yes, I did. I hated it. <laughs> to answer that question properly, I do not like that game. The game's dull as dishwater. Nothing happens. No control, no fun, nothing interesting. Dull game. Another dull card game that calls itself a roguelike. Pathetic. Be better off playing Progress Quest. At least that game is interesting. All right. Um, local warp pipe. There we go. And a grassland warp pipe. All right, Toad gave their life to do this. Of Stellaris fungoids? I mean, Toads predate Stellaris fungoids. So, for whatever that's worth. These, this is just Super Mario. Also, it's snowing. Cool. Turns out I was overthinking all of this. So warp pipe's supposed to just produce food. It's supposed to. Or the green warp pipe is anyway. Which is the one I'm making. All right, so I should be able to just place that there. See what that looks like. Should also make these guys a little temple so that they got somewhere to go pray. Oh, there you go. Needs pump operating. I like that they have to use pump operating to make it. That's kind of funny. All right, there's our little warp pipe. 
look for food. Which means, looks like our broker is going to go look for food. Interesting. Cancels produce warp pipe needs as all containing enemy. That's fair. Did, 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 were you able to find food? Let's watch you as you go look for food. You just jump into the fun loot box and sometimes you come out with free stuff. I'm just very curious about what this person's gonna bring out of here. I was wondering why everything stopped moving. The game was paused, go figure. It doesn't seem like they find anything. I guess I could just leave that on repeat, but I'm very scared it's going to do something random. What, from the pipe-shaped loot boxes? No, nothing so far. Nothing so far. So far they appear to be just as much of a rip-off as everything EA Games sells. But um, they do die if they siphon too much life force out of themselves. Who knew? Which is, you know, kind of fucked up. But, like, you know, so is Mario. My poor little toads. Kind of reminds me of something from Oxygen Not Included, actually. I want this guy to like, oh shit, we got a, we got ourselves a, uh, a not flying question mark block. All right, well let's let's dig up to it and go get it. Upstairs. Right. Oops. Right there. Go get that constructed. I don't play that game because the UI is incomprehensible to me. How about Ozzy Fudd? Ask me questions about the game we're currently playing. Because generally, if you've never seen me play a game, I've probably got some reason for not playing it. I don't like Oxygen Not Included. That's why I don't play it. I'm going to see if I can collect this thing. Do I want to switch? No. Do I mine it? Can I look at it? Mysterious block. What does it hold? Now let's see. Because I can get to it, I'm wondering if I then go to... Hmm. Do I claim it, maybe? It has a body. Hold on, let me just look on the guide. Uh, these creatures will fly into an area and wander around for a bit and then stop moving for a little and then often hovering in midair. When this happens, quickly construct a stairway up to where they're ho hovering and then order a soldier to move to the top of the stairway and attack it. Okay, so I need to tell them to go attack it. Go kill the block. Ah, 
I don't like Oni because I think that the UI for it is made by a crazy person who seems to think that transparent backgrounds are a good idea. And that is uh, not something that I will ever agree with. But anyway, I don't want to sit here and talk about which one is better, and I don't want to discuss the, this shit, because it's just, like, conversations I've had before that I had years ago when that game came out, and I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I play the games I play, and I don't play the games I don't play. Please just don't ask me to give opinions on games I don't play. Can you not attack it? No reachable valid target. I mean... You certainly appear to be going towards it, so. Ah, damn it, it's sort of flying again. It flew away, you bastard. This one's 12 tiles above the ground. Holy shit, 17. Well, I'll wait until they come back down, I guess. Also, if they've found anything... Cancel that order. Let's make wood. What was the name of those? I think it's a wooden mallet that they use as weapons. Yeah, wooden mallet. Let's make ten of those. I'm assuming that's what they use as we weapons. Can I hit it with arrows and bolts? I don't know. I like deal I'm going to deal with melee. Because that's the way the game recommends you do it, is that you build up to them and then tell your dudes to attack them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Here comes the flying blocks. This one's floating around my fort, too. I'm going by what the guide says, currently. Also need some animal trainers, I think. Because those are all set to be trained, but none of them have been. Kind of figured someone would just already have the job, but. Seems to not be the case. Mm -mm. Just kind of need to keep an eye on when those become localized again. I kind of want to pasture my Yoshis, but I know that they need to eat and drink stuff from your stockpiles, so I guess I should just let them do that. Also, I'm just realizing that they haven't dealt with that corpse yet. Maybe that'll get the Goomba corpse out of here, because that red thing over by the pond up in the on the right side of the tavern is is a corpse oh, this thing it's a feral goomba tooth specifically maybe it's a vermin remain mm -hmm. 
does not appear to be the case. I don't know. Weird. Do you have anything in your inventory? I don't know what they're looking for, but it doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I wonder if like ser searching for stuff through the pipes is like a skill that they need to have. Those flying blocks certainly fly for a while. It's kind of annoying that they become flying blocks again. Kind of wish they wouldn't do that. <laughs> what are you legendary in, Toad? Oh, you're a legendary miner. Would you look at that? Yeah, I don't know. This is a weird mod. <laughs> That's kind of my my statement at this point, chat. But we're a little lurky, so can I get a round of beers? Please and thank you. This is a weird mod. I'm just kind of waiting for those blocks to stop moving again. Maybe start working on some bedrooms up top side. Mm -mm -mm. Because we've gotten kind of lurky in the last, like, 30 minutes or so. And my brain's very fuzzy all of a sudden. Let's just finish these walls. I mean, I'll just state the thing that I always do, which is the lurkier the chat gets, the sooner the stream ends. Yep, that's why there's overhangs. It's the reason you do overhangs. So the more active the chat is, the longer the stream runs, because the more entertained streamer is. The less active the chat is, the shorter the stream runs, because the less entertained the streamer is. Pretty standard stuff here. So just keep that in mind. Did they just cancel deconstructing that? They did. What the hell? Weird. Something goes up in that corner. Can you get more of them? I'm trying to breed them. Now you can purchase them. Traders seem to bring them, but they're quite expensive. Uh, things can climb through fortifications. I would still do an overhang and then put the fortifications above it, but I don't generally use fortifications, so... I am more of a automated defenses person. Wigglers are back. At some point, I need to, like, record my hands when I'm playing this, because I find watching StarCraft players oddly mesmerizing when you just see, like, their hands fly around the keyboard. My hands move almost that fast when I'm playing DF. Toads can frown? A frowning toad is just a funny mental image to me. There's something just amazing about oh he mad <laughs> for toads.
All right. We'll just let that build out. How far through winter are we? Late winter? Still in the first year. It feels like it's been longer than a year that I've been here. It really does feel like I've been in this fort for much longer than a year, but I guess a large portion of it was spent paused, like just eyeballing the guides, so. But yeah, I know right now I'm just trying to breed my own Yoshis. They're also way more effective in combat, supposedly, than toads are it's like straight up not recommended that you use toads for combat so because they're supposedly the size of a beaver like they're quite small so i have a feeling they're kind of like plump helmet men where they just kind of get crushed go get some dinner man god i feel like trash where did that come from <laughs> This is the problem of having a body that just wants you to die all the time is sometimes you just feel like utter garbage for no fucking reason. We oui. be back later. Alrighty. We'll see you later from still on. I'm still, like, not... Like, I feel like I spent a lot to get this... This pipe here, and I feel like it's doing nothing. <laughs> He's just out there looking for food, and I, I feel like it's doing absolutely nothing. Like, this, this mod claims to have some really cool shit, and I'd like to see the cool shit, but it certainly doesn't make it easy to find the cool shit. Which is a little sad. Because I'd really like to just see the cool shit. <laughs> like, supposedly you can cause earthquakes in this mod? Like, I want to know how that plays out. <laughs> no, I did not say it was skill-based. Uh, skill-based. I wondered out loud if it was skill-based. <laughs> I did not say it was skill-based. I have no idea if it's skill-based. They don't seem to be using any particular skills to do it either. They're just doing it. So I have no idea. But it's usually worth it? Sure. But uh, I'm only playing this mod for one day. Not four weeks. I gotta get back to long death, Ming. But it also doesn't label that as a superpower, right? Um, and I also don't need to, like, consume dwarves life force to do that. <laughs> and I wish the question mark blocks would stick around longer. It's kind of a pain in the dick to actually get. But also, it makes sense why Yoshis would be way faster than the Toads, because they're just way taller. They got longer legs. Toads got little legs, man. All right. Let's jump down here. I also wonder how long their egg incubation is, because I've got four, four Yoshis... Each with uh, one, you got four, you got one, and you got three eggs. So, also, this this mod seems to have viruses. Like, it seems like there's, like, cold viruses in this. This child isn't right now sick with the cold. So, that's weird. So 
So that's weird. Nothing is stopping you? Sure, but like at the very least, that's comedy and I don't need to worry about them self-harming. That's just an unfortunate work accident. There's a very big difference between an unfortunate work accident and, hey, can you go extract your blood? There's a big difference. I don't feel bad about unfortunate work accidents. I do about ordering somebody to go drain their blood. Please understand. Getting a, getting a soft sneeze. <sighs> we are in walking distance of bob -ombs. I was really hoping bob would just come and start smacking us or something fun. Maybe I need to invade somebody. Goomba Helix. Let's make a wooden armor stand. Let's train some some boys up a little bit. I mean, I'd much rather kill dwarves in unfortunate mining accidents than, you know, order a toad to go s drain their noggin of fluids. Does that make sense? One is like, yeah, sure. The other one is like, I don't want to do that again. Oh, get the fuck out of here, you weirdos. You ain't welcome in here. You know, damn wigglers. Look at the two Kongs dancing. Duh, big Kong dancing with little Kong. Your shit's about to melt. I just need a chain chomp to come at me. Actually, you know what we could do? We could dig down to the cavern there. That's something we could do. Let's see what the caverns look like. Go dig. It's a toad digging a hole. They don't like being underground. Because they get the opposite of cave adapted, but. <laughs> World 1 2, pretty much, right? Just, oh, there. There we go. You've discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. Giant calcite mushroom cap. There's grass down here. Should hack some of those down. I also know that they won't like being down here. Dig, you little toad. Oh, would you look at this? Well, this is interesting. A caravan from Fonder has arrived, not from yonder, and a guild representative of the bean people. A bean-like creature with a love for good jokes. Her lips are thick, her head is very short, and her somewhat narrow sunken emerald eyes are wide set. Her body is green. The Bean People. The Caravan of Beans, yes. And they say, On behalf of the Merchant's Guild, let me extend my greetings to your people. There is much to discuss. The world hasn't changed much. What do you request of our merchants? What pets do you have? I want to know what animals you can sell me. They have D-balls, momos, and beanlets. Hold on. Aren't you a beanlet? You'll sell me your own kind? That's a little fucked up. Sell me an anvil, please. 
Pod peeps. Pod friend. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Just bring me an anvil, please. We have finalized the import agreement. Feel free to go over the documents. Also, they said craft root ship. Huh. Anyways, on behalf of the Merchant's Guild, let me bid farewell to you and your stout dwarves. Who are you calling dwarves? We don't look like dwarves to you. They called us dwarves. This seems like heresy. How dare they call us dwarves? I kind of want to attack them or steal their stuff. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take their stuff because they insulted us. They called us dwarves. How dare you call a toad a dwarf? Wait, do we look like dwarves to you? I'm going to seize all of your stuff for such a disgusting insult. Calling a bunch of good toads dwarves? How dare you? I've been interrupted by a feral Goomba? Hmm. Thanks for all the free stuff, guys. Bye. I wonder what they gave us. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely no dwarves here. I'm a bad person. Sometimes I gotta be a bad person, though. I don't know how much stuff they brought, so I'm just going to make a big food stockpile up there. Sometimes you just got to be an, an, an evil toad, you know? Sometimes you just got to be an evil toad. <laughs> I'm definitely, apparently, an evil toad now. Because I just took all of their stuff. And I don't even feel bad. I'm going to put a kitchen up here. You're a woodcutter. You probably need another job. So how about you go be my cook? You can't stop laughing? <laughs> Why? Because they called us dwarves? <laughs> the merchants have embarked on their journey. Bye, nerds! <laughs> Thanks for the stuff. I really want, like, a were Goomba or something to show up and kill me. Lavish? Activate Lava Pit? What? <laughs> they called me a dwarf. They called me dwarves. They said they 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 wished they bid me farewell, stout dwarves. And uh, I said, dwarves? Who are you calling dwarves? Oh my god! <gasps> Somehow we got blocks. I don't know how we got blocks. I must have gotten blocks from the traders, perfectly legitimately. Oh my god, I got tons of blocks from the traders. We have shining coins! Would y'all look at that? I know, right? It's so rude of them, Redbeard. How dare they refer to us as dwarves? It's like calling me fat. Also, Techno Troll, it's good to see you. What's up, man? And welcome back, Redbeard. Oh no, what happened? A green Yoshi is fighting with a feral Goomba! The stray green Yoshi misses the feral Goomba. The feral Goomba attacks the green Yoshi, but she jumps away. The stray green Yoshi grabs the feral Goomba by the left foot with her right lower arm. The Goomba headbutts the stray feral Yoshi in the neck, bruising the muscle. The Yoshi kicks the feral Goomba in the left foot. Um, in the left foot, bruising the what now? <laughs> the Heifel did you? Thank you very much for gifting us a sub. Cheers, Redbeard. It's a very slow month for revenues, so cheers, dude. Goes a long way. 
And uh, I don't know if Death of Fish is lurking, but enjoy the 30 days of free ad, of ad free viewing. Thank you very much for gifting a subscription, Redbeard. And then the, 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 the sturdy green Yoshi throws the feral Goomba by the left foot, and the stray feral Yoshi it slams into a, into a stray green Yoshi. The stray green Yoshi slams into an... So, okay. So a stray green Yoshi throws the Goomba, and it slams into another Yoshi. And then the strain green Yoshi slams into an obstacle. The stray green Yoshi kicks the feral Goomba in the right tusk. They have tusks? I guess they do. Uh, with her right foot. And the severed part sails off in an arc. And the stray green Yoshi is no longer stone. <laughs> Why would it be made out of fungus? No, the, the Goombas are. The Yoshi isn't. I just stole a shit ton of stuff from bean people, by the way. I got distracted by Lava Pit, so I didn't actually queue up 30 meals. I made 29 by mistake because I was one key off, but that's fine. What are you doing? You're converting Vim? I don't have enough warp pipes. Oh, maybe I got a bunch of Vim from them? Well, I got a bunch of material and shit from them, so that's good. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we got tons of weapons and stuff. Let's just set up an armor stand down here. Just get our dudes training. And can I do anything with this yet? Nope, but I do have a bunch of shining coins. Because, like, apparently we got a shit ton of blocks. Like, question mark blocks from the traders. And so he just keeps on, you know... Opening shit. I wonder if the high strings are high strung. Oh my god, we have Yoshi recruits. Oh, that's brilliant. Redbeard, thanks for gifting a second sub. Out oh, to Hayden, Hadeen Lake? Cheers, man. For gifting too. Just just two in the drive by and peace and out. Cheers, man. What is that P? We got an oinklet! It's an oinkable. Thank you very much for gifting two subs. And you have a good one. You have a good one, man. Cheers, dude. That's quite the um migrant wave. We now have a population of 32. Okay, so the Beanish empires are still at peace with us, even though I stole their shit. They may not be at peace with us for very long when I steal their shit a second time, because I'm sure they'll call us dwarves again. They did that once, and I'm sure such behavior will just continue forever. Did they actually equip any weapons? I wonder. Star bunny pelt backpack. Bronze greaves, copper breastplate, bismuth bronze buckler. Oh, shit. There's, there's something about just a fucking toad with a rapier. That's fucking awesome. Just a toad with a fucking rapier. And a buckler? That's badass, man. Meanwhile, my Yoshis are just carrying cups. A fighter fly? Also, I've got a bunch of swords beans, and a flaro bard, and a bunch of ants. Huh. Are there ant people in? 
What's that? Sidestepper? Well, apparently the caverns have ants that are not friendly, so that's a thing. Also, chat, can I get a big round of beers? For Redbeard gifting two subs. Cheers, man. We can do a little better than that, I think. Are there? I don't have any recollection of that, but I'll just believe you. How many coins are these? Is it just an ex a single exceptional shining coin? So I literally need hundreds of these to do anything. But this thing... Produces stones. Takes place at a star beacon. Create, so if I offer 100 shining coins, I get a star coin. But I have shining coins. Whatever the fuck that means. A chin chin? Is that what the ants are called? Chin chins? Something something chitty chin chin? Dear people from not America and Canada, don't ever assume somebody who sounds like me is American. Because Canadians hate being called American. <laughs> I've never known a Canadian who doesn't hate it. I just had somebody ask if I'm an American who just said X thing on uh, one of my videos. And it's like, just, just don't fucking assume we're American. Just because we, we don't sound British or something. You have no idea where we're from. A, a bubblinian. A bubblinian? What the fuck's a bubblinian? It's a pikeman. An easygoing, small, snail-like. Oh, it's the snail things. Gotcha. We're getting attacked by feral paragoombas? Hey, Pack. What's up, dude? I mean, Dallas Whip, like, you, you think you're hilarious, but I'll say this. It's like, try calling somebody from Australia a Kiwi. And then try calling a Kiwi Australian. And see how quickly you get a black eye. That's the equivalent of calling me American. Calling me American is the best way to get punched in the face or banned from my chat. Or both. Fight or fly. Large flying insect with an aggressive nature. I should probably lock the caverns. Which I'm just gonna do right quick. Done. This Yoshi hatchling just fucking killed a fighter fly? It kicked it in the right hand with its left foot, shattering the chitin. It's just playing make believe in the count. Okay. <laughs> if you insist. But like it's it's just playing fucking make believe. 
<laughs> and just fucking kicked it in the head and killed it. You missed, Hobo. You literally had your mouse on the ban button. <laughs> you fucking slow, son. You fucking slow. Get good, man. Yeah, this thing sucks. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love how intricate their little dances are. How go with the Mario Bros? I don't know what that purple F is. Oh, it's a flaro. Uh, weird. Um, like really weird. Like they have this uh, suicide ritual. Uh, <laughs> it's it's strange, man. I I stole a bunch of stuff because they called it from some people because they called us dwarves, which I pretended to be very offended by. I'm gonna dig into here, and make a little temple so that they can go pray. Ah, uh, good weird? Still weird? Freaking hilarious. I mean, it's weird, but it's also weird enough that I think I'll play it more. Probably not a lot, but... I, I would come back to this. It's weird, but it's not weird enough that I wouldn't do it again. The neat thing about the cavern layers, though, is the cavern layers are all, like, different worlds. And I think I've made chat, like, die laughing a couple times. Back with bread. Hopefully you put something on the bread. Plain bread's kind of dull. Would I play Dungeon Mans again? Not today, probably. I'll probably just do this today. We'll do Dungeon Mans tomorrow, though, for sure. But tomorrow we'll be doing Long Deaths, so... Tomorrow will be a much more normal stream. But yes, we'll, we'll do Dungeon Mans again. Unless, like, something crazy happens today, I... I don't know if I'll do... Dun I don't think I'll do Dungeon Mans today. I've got a, like... I've been very, like, flip-floppy energy-wise recently. Like, fatigue has been pretty bad recently. I'm not entirely certain why. It's not concerning or anything. It's just kind of annoying. So some days I'm great. Some days I'm just, like, kaput. I blame dumb body shit. I think my miners are, uh, yes, my miners are in the military. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to you. I'm going to remove you from the squad. Turn the squad back on. It's been almost nine. It's almost nine for you, and you don't have the energy these days to do much to do much playing. I mean, here here's the thing, like. There are some days where I can just, like, start streaming at 9 in the morning, stream until 6 p.m., and then 
take a break for an hour, work out and do everything I need to do in the evening and then go and edit for another four hours. Like there's days where I just have that. And then there's days where it's a struggle to stream more than six hours. And today is kind of one of those days where it's a bit of a struggle. It's like, I can totally do it. I just need chat to be more helpful versus days where it's just like, yeah, I can just kind of keep streaming. Like there are some days where I just, I don't care and I can just stream all day. But on days like today, I kind of need your guys' help to keep going. Because it's just like most days, the pain situation that I used to deal with frequently has kind of eased off a bit. It's not as bad as it was, but there are certainly times where it gets rough. Um, Let's see if I can find a Yoshi. So I seem to be able to just put Yoshis into the squads. Like they, they can just go train, which is kind of awesome. So that's kind of awesome. So I guess they become like War Yoshis or something. This is going to be my uh, temple. The beautiful goals. Sure, that works. So now they can go. What story are they listening to? The unholy leaks of the fin of naming founded pocket sunk. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Lurky's fine, but just, like, that's kind of where I'm at, where it's just, like, like, two days ago, I had almost no energy, and then chat just kind of kept me going for, like, 10 hours because everybody was just hanging out and chatty. But there are days where I just, I just can't do it. So. And then there's also just the problem of, like, my brain not being super nice to me sometimes. so much random shit in here. They can be trained too? I mean, yeah, no, I, I, I trained them all, or I, I set them all to training, but they don't seem to have done that. But now I've got like, I've got one sword mans. <laughs> uh, so one sword mans, What's, what kind of sword? Oh, right, yeah, because you have that, that rapier, right? Neat. I mean, Jack could probably be trained to give us extra bonuses. Right, Chad? <laughs> this is why this is what round of beers is, quite literally. You could give extra bonuses. I mean, isn't training your audience just like, hey guys, this is a sponsorship. If you click this link, it gives me money kind of thing. Isn't that what that is? Isn't that literally what that is? Or like post hype emotes when someone resubs, you know? Hype guys. <clears throat> Scream, loud noises. So, why aren't you preparing lavish meals? I just realized they didn't do that. Let's give you cooking. Oh, I thought I had people assigned to cooking. Maybe they're in my military squad. Maybe that's the problem. Also, I thought seeds weren't supposed to be in there. Did you just make a cave mushroom cake? A cave mushroom spawn cake. Yummy. Uh, this is why, uh, if I was a more attractive person, I would stand up and bend over and write your name down on a board. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I give you guys rubber ducks, right? <laughs> and play records. And uh, I don't know. What else do I do in return? 
I definitely I don't really have the ability to like give you guys treats, but if I could, I would. Do you get to keep those ducks? No, I put them on the record player. Sheesh. Come on. Keeping the prizes. What is this? Fair and even? Nah. I need a refuse pile. That's a corpses pile. I need a refuse pile. I definitely have a refuse in here. Cancels drink. Oh no. So I was able to make at least one Yoshi hatchling, because I do have a Yoshi hatchling running around. What more do you want? Good question. I mean, the 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 the, the benefit that you get, uh, or the, the bonus that you get for supporting the stream, uh, is uh, sound commands for uh, seven dollars a month on Patreon. Well, that's that's the benefit that I give, or uh, your name in the credits. What do you prefer? Frankly, I got both. Now, I wonder if the baby Yoshi can ba play with the baby Toad. I mean, and it's the way some people uh, train their chat to spam things is uh, they have those emotes that just bounce on the screen, which is super obnoxious and annoying. <laughs> Does anybody actually like that shit? Ser kind of serious question. Whenever you see a streamer that has, like, emotes that bounce on the screen, do you find that even remotely interesting, or do you find it just extremely visually distracting? Because I can't stand that shit. <laughs> Whenever I see it, it's like, why? It's so distracting. Doesn't bother you? Man, I find it so bothersome. Rosu has become a spear toad! Cool. Also, uh, I suddenly have just, like, gained a bunch of baby Yoshis. Look at all these Yoshi hatchlings I have. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six Yoshi hatchlings. You can't watch most streamers on here? And honestly, it chases you off when people are, get super cringy. You hate it, you'll leave. That sucks. It's a great method if you hate having conversations in chat. What, spammy chats? I mean, it's, it's really funny because like, I feel like the majority of the, or a large portion anyway, of the people who watch this channel are pretty open about the fact that they have a hard time watching other channels on Twitch, which I think is really interesting. It's all about context of the streamer in the chat. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I just enjoy, like, pretty laid-back, chilled streams. But, like, any streamer where they just start, like, trying to hype shit up for no reason is always kind of annoying. Even I do that a little bit, but... You know, gotta do what you gotta do to pay bills over here. I'm special. Thanks, Ming. Brown Yoshi. The Yoshi hatchling grabs the fisher fly by the thorax with its right hand. The Yoshi throws the fisher fly by the thorax <laughs> with the Yoshi hatchling's right hand. The Yoshi hatchling kicks the fighter fly. Oh no, the Yoshi hatchling appears to be starving to death and dying of thirst. All right, well, I th was hoping maybe it would just come up and out, but it doesn't seem like it can. Um, so I'm going to unforbid this and see if we can jump back down there. <laughs> Oh, sweet. One of the baby Yoshis already grew up. That was fast, actually. There you go. Get out of here. Get back upstairs. Come on. I didn't see anything running down there. Cool. You don't like when the ones with the crazed screen and sound effects who scream at each other and for, for each sub and dono? I mean, sometimes I'll scream if it's a big donation. 
but <laughs> I don't get a ton of donations, so it's also not something that'll happen particularly frequently. It's more generally like I just get like a frog in my throat. Aril, what are you, Aril? A Bubblanian pikeman. Well, welcome to the fort, Bubblanian pikeman. This thing just looks like a badger to me. She feels satisfied after being granted residency. Does anybody else find the colors in the new version to be sharper? than previous versions. Don't they come out of the eggs grown in the games? Yes. What, the baby Yoshis? Yes. You see, th this is kind of the, the weird discussion though about Twitch that we're having where it's just like crazed screen sound effects. It is a fact that people with the crazy sound effects and loud noises and bright colors and flashy lights and annoying hype make significantly um, more money than people who don't do that. Um, 2D async? What? Weird. Okay, so that's why everything looks sharper. I've been wondering about that because I find it kind of annoying. I need to uh, fiddle with it. I wonder if that's prep for the Steam version stuff. It's so open GL mode. Today I learned. This is all new to me. A blooper is fighting with a drone ant. Ooh. Well, it's dead. It's a mangled corpse now. The drone ant swordsman jumps out of the blooper's flight path. The drone ant slow swordsman stabs the blooper in the head with its silver short sword. They have silver short, short swords? Holy fuck. The drone ant swordsman slashes the blooper in the head with his silver short sword. And the severed parse is cloven asunder. Cloven asunder! Hmm. If you figure out, could, could you do me a favor and post the setting on Discord so I can find it myself? If that's possible. If you don't have time, don't worry about it. But be cool if you could. Uh, this is the most recent version of Dwarf Fortress, and it's the Super Mario Brothers overhaul mod, which is why I'm playing as Toads, and there's Yoshis everywhere, um, and various other Mario things. So it's the Mario Brothers overhaul mod, which is super broken when generating worlds in the current version, but seems to work just fine in games, so. And I'm playing it because it's Mario Day. I did get the pipe... Right, yeah, Silver, she can't read or can't hear me. Sorta. But apparently, like, you can cause earthquakes and shit in this thing, but... I'm kind of tempted to go attack some bob <laughs> Hold on, let me just poke around and see if I can find some. There's Yoshi tribesmen down here, which I think's fucked up. Like, I'm training Yoshis. There's also shy guys over there. What's this? Are you bob -ombs? Those are more shy guys. We could go after shy guys. What about this? Let's go after the Dark Koopas. We're gonna go raid the Dark Koopas. We'll see how this goes. Um, except... Uh... Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go raid the Dark Koopas. So it's um, four Yoshis and a bunch of Toads. Good luck, boys. My Toads have been training for a little bit, and so have the Yoshis. So uh, wish them luck, Chad. The, co the Yoshis are all bringing their cups with them. They seem to like carrying cups. I'm sure that that's a bug. Oh, look at that. They're all praying in there now. Excellent. Let's place some more beds in here. To war? I mean, we're going to go beat up some shy guys and see how it goes. I wouldn't necessarily we're going to say we're going to war, but... Or we're trying to steal stuff from shy guys. What's up, Mirthsoft? How's things? Mm -hmm. 
What are the deities like? I haven't looked too closely. Uh, we have the god of oceans, the god of justice, the god of mountains, volcanoes, fire, and the sun, and the god of death and rivalry, and the god of stars in the sky. They seem pretty similar to the normal DF stuff. They had it coming, probably. I mean, they're creepy, weird, and they have strange masks, so hopefully. See, that, that to me is a little scary, Pack, because it means, like, if... And th this is something that has always made me kind of sad, and it's the thought of, oh, if I ever become financially successful, because currently I'm successful in the point where, like, I'm surviving. I'm not really gaining. I'm not really losing. I've just been surviving for years. Um, if I ever got to a point where suddenly this channel became financially successful, then a lot of the people who watched me originally would leave, and that makes me kind of sad. <laughs> that makes me kind of sad. What the fuck are you? Oh, the Flaro Wrestler. Gotcha. Floral Wrestler. Neat. Curious, what kind of drinks do we have? But she really needs it. Cat, my old cats used to love getting brushed. Squint radish wine, sweet strawberry wine, tea he coffee? What? Grape juice and sweet strawberry juice. I don't know what tea he coffee is, but apparently we have tea he coffee. I wonder if they can have strange moods. I mean, everybody should love water. Or are you talking about, like, the DF water? Because if you think that's cool, you should see oceans. With their waves. Because waves are super cool. With an already large community? Okay, fair enough. Hey, Chico no Brico. Cheers, man. And the chat is whizzing by at 100 lines a second. I mean, I've basically talked about what I would do if I ever got big. Like, if I ever got to the point where that was happening, what I would do is I would give all non-subscribers a 30-second delay and let subscribers just speak freely, which would be really fucking annoying, but it would basically fix that problem. Straight up, I just wouldn't want my chat to be like that. I know some other bigger streamers who've done that, and it makes chat perfectly readable like that. Because suddenly, like, the people with crazy, busy chats, suddenly everybody just quiets down. It's actually kind of magical how effective it is. I've got a Yoshi bard here who's in the river. Do you need help? Um. Go help him, maybe. Because I've got a Yoshi bard all the way over here in the river. I'm hoping that maybe this will help him get out. Potentially? What's up, Chico? Those things, man. How you doing today? Come on there, little Yoshi. You can do it. Come on, man. Come on. I have faith in you. I mean, good luck. Oh, no. Three of them have just disappeared. <laughs> there was three more in there. Yeah, okay, so th this is the Super Mario Brothers or Mushroom Kingdom overhaul mod for Dwarf Fortress. So instead of playing, like, dwarves, we're playing toads. 
and we have Yoshi's. And uh, it's Grimdark Super Mario. Because all Dwarf Fortress does is hyper overthink things. You don't want to overthink Super Mario. You think it's dope and you think you love it until you watch a toad kill themselves, siphoning vim from their veins so that they can power the pipes. It's distressing. Or when a Yoshi eats your face. Huh, <laughs> yeah, I get those every three months. The dilation drops to get my eyes checked, Pac. It is so dark, man. It's really, really dark, yeah. No diabetes damage for another year. Yep. Last time I saw my eye doctor, he just looked at me and said, Greg? I'm like, yep. And he goes, I don't know how else to tell you this, but you're going to be blind in 15 years. And I was like, well, that's cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> He's like, give or take 10. <laughs> like, your eyes just aren't going to work in 15 years. It's fucking cool, dude. Thanks. I like my eye doctor. He's very blunt, but fuck him. <laughs> He's very good at his job, but man. Toads and Yoshi's dancing. No, I'll probably, honestly, I'll probably just try to become a podcaster as my eyes get worse. <laughs> I mean, I'll bet you I could probably play, um, what's it called? I could probably do Legends mode shit with no vision. Oh, there we go. They're back. Let's see how they did. Wow, that was such a slow travel. What the fuck? They didn't even go that far. Why did they travel so slowly? Anytime this year, guys? We attacked the Law of Sourness of the Unthinkable Guard at Glenshield. The Toad Giryu, Hugswink, led the attack. And the defenders were led by the Koopa Buck-Kookbuck. Help breached. The Toad had a ta the Toad's tactical planning was superior to the Koopa. Buck-Gook, buck and had a positional advantage in Glenshield. Boogamu Slingward ambushed the Toad. And uh, the Toad Jenna chest shut down was struck down by the Koopa Boogamu Slingward of the Ocean of Visiting. Hi back. I'm Greg. How are you? This doesn't seem to be going super hot. I know that like toads aren't supposed to be particularly strong, but I was kind of hoping we could just steal shit. So we lost some toads. All right. At least we made it back though. Blooper is fighting with a drone ant and is dead. How goes the fort? I mean, confused? Perplexed? Uh, lost? But good. That's about it. I I can't play fighting games with eyes. I don't have any I don't have the um uh, what's it called? I don't have the uh, hand coordination to do that. Any Bowsers? Uh, only if they're named Doug. <laughs> uh, more seriously, though, probably. I, I know there's giant chain chomps titans. Uh, I don't know about Bowsers, though. I wouldn't be surprised. But it, it's more like it's just the Mushroom Kingdom and we're all the little lowly small guys. Burly Koopas are known as Bowsers? Huh. Bow Bowser's just a big self... Uh, uh, is, is just an entrepreneurial Koopa. That's all he is. Bowser equal dragon? Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Bowser would equal dragon because Bowser breathed fire. I mean, I have enough... 
people here that we could, in theory, see something like that, but... I have no idea, but I I hate Adventure Time with a burning passion, so I wouldn't look if it did exist. I'm um, making bedrooms. We're going to do little underground huts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 18. Uh, 19. 20. Toad rooms. Yeah, there you go. Although my manager seems to have gone and died, so... There you go. So we're a lot of skulls. Is that a vamp toad? I don't know what you're asking, Silver She. I don't know if there can be vamp toads. I mean, maybe there can be? Had a lot of high skills. I mean, they're not that high, and I doubt it. But we would have noticed them if there was. Nobody's died or anything, so. Also, I don't know why you guys are all so immediately suspicious. This year is five years old. This fort is five years, or this world is five years old. The odds that there is a vampire is like, null. Maybe if this world was a thousand years old, I'd be worried, but. Besides, it's not like they're legendary in anything. You really should. Because you'll look super cool when the Steam version comes out and you're like, oh, all this shit's easy. <laughs> and you'll be one of those people who can be like, back in my day, we didn't get no mouse. Back in my day, we had to play with the keyboard. Get off my lawn, you damn Steam kids. Or that's just going to be me, I guess. <laughs> Sucks to be the toad who gets the small bedroom. Petition? Sure. I'll take something who will, who's here to eradicate monsters. I have an axe toad. Back in my day, we didn't need no mouse and that, and we liked it that way. We liked it that way. That's the other line, right? It's, it's, and we liked it that way. I think that's how that whole thing goes. All, back in my day, all we had was one emote, and we liked it that way. We were happy. And now I see fucking affiliates crying that they want more emotes. It's like, you already have fucking five. How many more do you want? You played Doom 1 and 2 with your kids? The real question is, do you play Doom the Roguelike with your kids? That's the real question. 
Also, please don't let me, please don't let my stream play with audio on around kids. Because I occasionally drop very unexpected sudden swear words that <laughs> are not kid friendly. All night? Good shit. <laughs> it's funny, because every now and again, someone will be like, my daughter's watching, say hi, and I'll be like, oh shit, what have I said in the last ten minutes? <laughs> Did I drop any cunts or anything? Is anybody gonna kill me? God, I just scarred a child. That's genuinely what goes through my brain. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I feel like describing what happens in Dwarf Fortress is only as vile and distressing as your brain makes it. You know what I mean? Like, and the severed part sails off in an arc. is a little scary to a child, but I don't necessarily think it's inappropriate. I think the, the thing that gets kind of disturbing is when you start, like, talking about, you know... I mean, e even, like, little kids getting kidnapped by goblins isn't that scary. Like, I, th I think that stuff's kind of as bad as you make it. I mean, you could also just, like, completely ignore all the gory details, right? Like, again, it's only as vile as you make it. Ooh! Ooh! The Forgotten Beast. Absin. Yuckwil. Love for Ralph Lely has come. A large, a huge hairy skink. It has a knobby trunk and it appears to be emaciated. Beware its poisonous sting. A hairy skink, yeah. Do you not know what a skink is? Oh no, it's just, it's horribly murdering the ants. Uh, or is getting horribly murdered by the ants. The Forgotten Beast attacks the Queen Ant Swordsman, but she jumps away. The Queen Ant Swordsman stabs the Forgotten Beast in the right and rear foot with her silver short sword. And before they just kill it. Yeah, they fucking killed it! Look at that! Damn. Those ant people, man. They ain't no fucking joke. You don't remember that boss in Mario? I mean, there were fucking excellent little guard dogs down there, that's for sure. I wonder if the Yoshis can claim bedrooms. Guess we'll find out. We'll see you later, Murph. Let's put a couple more Yoshis into this squad. I'm wondering if the Yoshis remain recruits forever. Because, like, novice fighter? I don't know. Also, ah, there we go. We are at war with the Shy Boys. Or rather, no, the, the Koopas. We're at war with the Koopas. I'm going to go after these Koopas again. The same ones we went after before. Let's send more Yoshis this time, though. Also, chat, could I get a round of beers for those uh, Yoshis and Toads that are going off to Wa, as they say. I think that's the words of our people. To wa. <laughs> Be real, real cool if you could have a wild traveling Mario in this mod. 
A wild plumber appears. Just comes out of your pipes. To why exactly? To wa, to all of the wa. We shall fight in battle for all eternity. I'm wondering if they'll take just as long to travel this time. We've also got no upset moods. Everybody seems to be pretty happy, considering this place seems kind of shit. <laughs> it was irritated eating at a crowded table. All right. All right. Well, let's... Uh... Let's make some more chairs and tables. Let's also work on these floor hatches, because... I need them. Clothing also seems to be super simplified in this mod, so... That's also a thing. Above ground farming. Like, this mod doesn't seem super difficult, if you kind of know your way around door fort stuff. It really doesn't seem super difficult. Whereas I've been told that the Long Night mod, it actively just makes the game harder. And like intentionally just makes the game difficult. Like just enemies that will just veer straight into your fort and attack you for like seemingly no fucking reason. So if, if difficulty is what you're looking for, then that would be the mod for you. Cancel sleep, ho horrified. Why are you horrified? Also, uh, one of my... Yo, so I had brown Yoshis, okay? Brown Yoshis and green Yoshis, right? One of my baby Yoshis just grew into a blue Yoshi. So I now apparently have a blue Yoshi. Look at that! I have a blue Yoshi and a green Yoshi. Cool. And the game's saving. It is now autumn. Oh god, I wonder what this game has instead of Kias. Also, why is this all red? Oh, it's covered in apples. <laughs> I was like, why is the weird Vim Extractor thing all red? Yoshi! Flying Goombas? Uh, there are Paragoombas, and they do interrupt my dudes occasionally. I love this the this Yoshi's name. Paragulp. Oh, also, you were able to make it out of the water, so that's good. Hold on a second. What? A dinosaur with a long, sticky tongue and hefty appetite. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's just the descriptions of them that I just I just can't handle, man. For unsharper text, I will definitely do that. Thank you, Fres Freskins, for the post in the door fort talk room. A sidestepper is fighting with a drone ant. See, like, a few of these drone, am drone ants have died, but, like, just the majority of them are just standing on a pile of blood because they're just slowly killing everything that shows up here. Slowly. I'm 
wondering, actually. I'm going to make a coin stockpile. Because I wonder, actually, if those star coins go into, their, into a coin stockpile. I'll bet you they do. Yeah, it looks like they do. Neat. That's not a lot of that's not a lot of coins at all. Well, we need more coins to be able to do the magic power things. I'm just going to give you basic carpentry so you can help. I need more than question mark blocks to show up. I did get a few from the bean people. Looks like I haven't lost anybody yet, so that's good. Bum, bum. Ba -da -dum, bum, 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 bum. Also, thank you guys for all the bits and stuff today. Little bits of support. I have a feeling March is going to be a lean month. So, cheers, guys. It's basically like until people get their tax returns. There's always kind of a slow season. I think March last year was actually my worst month financially. <laughs> Just throughout the entire year, which is kind of wild, but. Like, I'll be okay, but it's still kind of a. It just sucks. Tables. Tables. Chair. 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 Table. Chair. Chair. Table. Chair. And chair. Good morning, Stone. We're playing that Super Mario Brothers overhaul mod. It's weird as fuck. So you haven't missed any paperwork today. Yeah, but you guys should be saving that. A mole person caravan has arrived. Well, look at that. Did you just fucking jump over a tree? An industrious, friendly creature. That works in mines deep in the earth. Huh. Yoshi! Fucking mole people. A diplomat has left unhappy. Yeah, because my squad has my captain in it. Although it looks like the squad was successful this time. We are invading Koopas. They travel so slowly. Like mole people from, you know, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, looks like we snuck in undetected. And the tactical mushrooms stole treasure and livestock from Genshin. I wonder what we got. Three bob minions? Those are livestock? <laughs> Oh no. A graphite gopo. Okay. A dry dry cactus rib crutch. Cool. A poor kupo leather water skin. And one large almond dine. I know what that is. Yoshi! Sue me. <clears throat> it's okay, chat. You'll fund the lawsuit, right? That's a lot. So, in that wagon, they have a Yoshi doctor. I just would like to inform you. They have Yoshi doctors. I kind of just want to steal all their shit again. I can sell them them wooden mallets. I can sell them those large gems, the raw glass, all this stuff that I, I stole from other from the other people, right? All that. I 
Definitely need don't need frog blood. Cactus scepter I can sell. Sure. And uh, bring the trader over. On behalf of the Merchant's Guild, let me extend my greetings to your people. There is much to discuss. There is much to share. We've updated your maps. What requests do you have of our merchants? I thought that you left unhappy. What pets do you have? Nothing fun? That's no fun. Um, I think I'm just going to ask for cannons? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Fucking cannons? Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, I'll just get, I'll just get some weapons, some cannons. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Uh, we have finalized the import agreement. Okay. I mean, they're not friendly in, their, in the other games. Again, on behalf of the Merchant's Guild, let me extend, let me bid farewell to you and your stout dwarves. They called us dwarves again, Jet. It's a very grave insult to our people. What the fuck is that? So I just have Baba minions now? Are they animals? What happens if I slaughter a Baba? I could war train them. I feel like those should be kept out of my tavern. Pen pasture. I'm gonna put all the oinkers and the bobombs there. I'm gonna set it to animal training. I mean, they're, they seem to just be like any other livestock. They're just little levers. Are bobombs cats? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Small creature resembling a walking bomb. These alchemical creations are used as living kamikaze weapons. His eyes are narrow, his body is somewhat broad, and his skin is pink. I'm going to assign them to my military and send them back out. Is what I'm going to do. After they get trained for military stuffs. After you're done meditating on justice, you want to go like you know, train some people, some 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 bombs to charge. I, you know what? Science must tell. Science must tell us what happens when you slaughter a bomb. -bom. I must build a butcher shop first, though. There we go. I got somebody going to go slaughter a bomb. -bom. This is where you count. We are sex, ba bomb. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait, different franchise, right? Okay, so it slaughtered it. What what did we get from that? Soldier hide, okay. Fat. I bet you I can mix them into soap and meat. They have meat and fuse. <laughs> of course they have a fucking fuse. Wait, what? Hold on a second. What are you hauling? They also dropped coins. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Hey, Lemon Duck. Hope you're doing well. All right, well, my captain uh, is assigned to the Bob-Oms. 
if you kill it, if you if you slaughter an animal, I guess they drop coins sometimes because this is Mario. Cancels train him for war. Interrupted by whatever that is. All right, let, let's go um, invade the Koopa Troopas again. And this time they have bob -ombs. All this time they've been stuffed by meat with meat and splattering everywhere and probably taste delicious. All right, um, I got to go trade with these people. Oh, what? Will they just, like, not buy any of this stuff? Hmm. Craft... The Craftstone ship is unparalleled! It's way too cool. I'm gonna buy some puffy cloth. Thank you. What? Oh, can I not sell that stuff because it was stolen? That's probably why. I mean, it's that's what we're doing. We're invading the Koopa Troopas. I'm going to set that to not be a training area. <sighs> this game... Uh, that 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 part broke me when I slaughtered the fucking thing and then the coins came out of it and I just saw my little toad hauling coins. I'm just like, what the fuck? I, I, I don't know if I can handle this shit. I'm upset that, like, nobody else is on the Mario Bros. train. In the DF directory, it's literally just me playing this mod. Everybody else is just like doing normal DF shit. Kind of disappointed. I kind of, I kind of thought other people would hop on this train with me, but nah. Dwarf Fortress community, I am dis disappointed. <laughs> so, uh, food still OP. I'm going to buy all of these Yoshis. And I'm going to... Oh, I can't pasture them? But they're in cages! What the... I just bought a bunch of Yoshis and they're all in cages, so I have to take them out of the cages. But like, man, th this this has me asking so many questions about how the Yoshi kind are treated in this world. I don't, and I don't like it. I really, really don't. Like this fucking brilliant Yoshi, po purple Yoshi poet showed up and was talking to us and singing songs. And these guys are selling me Yoshis in cages. Like, what even is this? I don't even want to think about that, King. And like a bean dude? We're, we literally stole a bunch of stuff from a bunch of bean dudes and I just bought one in a cage. Like the politics of the... You're trapped in the Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack? I wish I could play it, but unfortunately I can't. At least I can free them from their slavery and then train them for military and make them go, you know, die for our cause. I'm going to, uh...
Make ourselves a new squad. It's metal armor. Well, I guess I'll just select one of you guys. Let's say you. Wait, can I not make a new squad? Oh, right, yeah, because my, my captain's not here. Captain's basically like the mayor. Equal opportunity slavery medieval style. Yeah, it's still concerning, though. Doesn't make it okay. I do like the dances they're doing. We have a luck lord. Pikeman visiting. This is kind of like feudal era Mushroom Kingdom, though. I'll bet you that this is probably like 5,000 years before Mario shows up. Did something just die? Why are they horrified? I don't know. Also, hello, Silhouette. Oh. Floral wrestler has been found dead, dehydrated. Huh. I don't know what those floral people need, but died for some reason. But yeah, no, there seems to just be, like, wild animal variants of all of the intelligent races in this world. Well, press F for that Flaro wrestler person. You're a pipe, king. But yeah, it seems like squads in this are like nine Yoshis and a fucking squad leader, basically. That seems kind of like what you got to do with squads in this. Actually, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to make this into a gather zone. And we can also put the oinkers there. We'll put the bob -omb over on the other side. Which are just Mario pigs. The merchants are leaving. And the other merchants are leaving. Some more migrants have arrived. Oh, hey, pump operator. Or, as they call them here, pipe operators. The Straw of Tools. Craftsman Guild. Sure. I can totally do that. I think I'm going to put that up here on this corner. Cool. Yeah, that's a, a word you could use for it. Distressing is another word you could use for it. Scarring is another word you could use for it. Uh, you can play as Goombas, Shy Guys, Toads, and there's some others. Toads are just uh, the starter race.
or the recommended starter race anyway. I mean, they're not the focus. There's multiples, just the others are more, less dwarfy, from what I can tell. You can play as Koopas, you can play as Goombas, you can play as Shy Guys. And I think you can, I think you can just play as humans. You could also just like leave your dwarves into and play as dwarves in this fucked up world. If you really want to. Oh shit, they returned. But right now we're invading the Koopas. And uh, we stole treasure and livestock. And I wonder if we lost any of our uh, bob -oms. I don't think so, but I did get one f power flower. One power flower. I ate. I love that they named the bob -ombs. <laughs> It's like, you're just gonna go fucking die. Also, you can just fucking slaughter Yoshis, so that's a thing that you can do. As if that, as if everything else in this wasn't fucked up already. You could also just like slaughter your Yoshis, which are like intelligent creatures that are smart enough to sing, dance, and have language. And we're, we could just slaughter them. Just, you know, fucking slaughter the Yoshis. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? And also, if you slaughter animals, coins come out of them. And you can spend the coins on superpowers. Like, what the fuck is... <laughs> So have like a Yoshi breeding program or a bob -omb breeding program so you can slaughter them to get money to be able to summon powers from the Elder Gods. Like, what even is this shit? This is why Tarn Adams describes this mod as slightly disturbing. <laughs> Makes you ask a lot of questions about... The Mushroom Kingdom that you're probably not prepared to ask. Sounds like a profit machine. Capitalism! Capitalism! It does indeed sound like a profit machine. Imagine if you got gold coins out of slaughtering cattle. America might actually be somewhat profitable. Sweet. All of my uh, Yoshis are being trained as fighters. And uh, my captain is getting more and more stuff assigned to him. Good shit. Uh, work animals. You can have all those assigned to you. So we're just going to have an army of bob -ombs when we go and attack shit. I really, really, really hope we get invaded. That's part of the reason why I'm going after these... The Beanish people still aren't mad at us, so that's neat. But part of the reason I'm going after the Koopas is because I, I, I want to go to war with them. I want to see what they will do. <laughs> Throw bodies in the meat grinder for profit? I mean, you're basically right. Yeah, that is kind of just FMA. Oh, 
Although in FMA, they call that equivalent exchange, not slaughtering your friends. <laughs> they make it sound classy, at least. Although I am glad that you guys are enjoying this mod. So cheers everybody for hanging out today. Friends provide food, friendship, and money. No, that's called friends with benefits. That's a very different kind of friend. And those friends, they don't ever call back. <laughs> Beepa author d dove wants to hang out for the purpose of eradicating monsters okay please don't die of something random the key and exploitation of is <laughs> good pre is good pr yeah the the, the fucking pr firms that <laughs> keep those companies rolling is probably get paid a lot of money <laughs> it's a lot of fucking work You find that goddamn hilarious? I do too. But I, I'm making a big deal about it being disturbing kind of for the stream. But yeah, no, it, it is really fucking funny. Are you as dumb as I think you are? You are. I need to see how this ends. Oh, okay. You did fall straight down. Fair enough. I figured that would hurt him, but it didn't. I've never seen something like deconstruct something from underneath their feet in Dwarf Fortress and live before, so that's a first. They always like fall through the floor and break their knees or something. I learned that this mod existed from him. Because somebody at PAX asked him, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen somebody create in Dwarf Fortress? And he said, well, somebody made Space Invaders fun that was functional in our game, which was wild. And also, somebody made a, super a very grim, dark, realistic uh, Super Mario Brothers mod. And then somebody else made a My Little Pony mod. And then somebody else took the two of them and put them both together. So you had grim, dark, My Little Pony, and Super Mario's, but it's Dwarf Fortress. So... I, but I doubt that he worries about the ethical conflict between the Goombas and stuff. I mean, it is Grimdark. This is fucking Grimdark, dude. This is truly the darkest timeline. Yes, naturally. Someone would do that. I guess never underestimate the power and stupidity of the Dwarf Fortress fandom. Or rather, insanity, maybe? I need to hack down some more trees to be able to do this. Do it! Do it now! Was somebody else found dead? No, but a Yoshi's been str stung by a bee. Also, my Yoshis seem to be Yoshi fighters now? Oh, 
I mean, you're not wrong, Hobo. Have I got a Goomba Siege yet? I've been trying to get a Koopa Siege. It's not working. Although, I'm kind of hoping to die to a Koopa Siege. I mean, I have a, a squad. Actually, hold on. Before you guys all leave, let's throw some more, Koop some more Yoshis in here. Possible? Or rather, you know what? I'll just put whatever. Get out of there, guys. Go, 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 go. I just want a full squad. Anyway, that squad is like six Yoshis and four Toads. So they're mostly Yoshis. Uh-oh. Well, one of my bomb, bomb my bomb, bomb minions attacked this thing, but it jumped away. Only pipes remain. Uh, I don't think it's the future of our world, but most of the Dwarf Fortress mods and overhaul packs are pretty fucking dark, though. Like, if you think about it, most of them are pretty fucking dark. Like the long the the long night stuff is pretty fucking dark. This stuff's pretty fucking dark. And uh, you know what this is actually making me really look forward to? It's making me really look forward to the Star the Star Wars day when we get to play two days of the Star Wars overhaul mod. <laughs> oh look at that! Yeah, guys, become a gr a grown adult Yoshi. Dwarf Fort is pretty dark in general, but because it's like fantasy themed, it's pretty easy to like. Just imagine it as fantasy themed. Yo, Ponce, thanks for the host. Cheers, man. Hobo, could I get a shout out for Ponce if possible? Because I want to make you do work. Because I banned the guy earlier, so you, you get to you get to do the the easy stuff. What were you playing, Ponce? This is the Super Mario Brothers overhaul mod for this game, and it's making me question the the inner runnings and politics and slave training of uh, Yoshi's. Because Yoshi's seem to be very intelligent creatures that. Like, no poetry and sing songs, and uh, and yet I'm buying them in cages. And then they just, like, fucking join my society totally happy. Also, they live in their own fucking towns and shit. You just finished Loop Hero? That game was such a snooze fest for me. I just I, I don't understand why people like that game. We made it to winter once again. Also, slaughtering creatures gets you coins. Also, did you know that bob have meat and intestines? I didn't. Now I do. I'm kind of upset that I do. This is going to be a guild hall when it's done. Also, you get a fuse from slaughtering them. You can see how someone might not. I just found it really boring. Like, it was just like a non-game for me. So... Can I not make wooden statues? Guess not. Wood armor stands. 20. Let's make a bunch of those. Yeah, right? Holy shit, indeed. Mm -hmm. Wishes to reside in the Toad Thrones of Blazing. Right, yes, that is what I called that. Sure, why not? We shall welcome you, Molman poet. We have a poetic mole man. And uh, this person would also like to hang out. Well, the other one asked me first, and I don't need multiples of you, so. I would imagine that Mario or Luigi would be um, adventurers. They would be demigod adventurers. They're not mega beasts. They're just adventurers. Very, 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 very powerful adventurers. Uh, 
Um, probably, but I, I I don't know how that would work. <laughs> Pawns. Like I'm not the I'm not a, I wouldn't I will never say no to mead. Um. But I I don't know. I don't know how we would figure that out logistically, but I'm not against the idea. Cancel's making lavish meals horrified. Why are you horrified? Oh, right. Because we had Flaro, Udsi's spot satin who died. I'm not sure what killed them, but they did die. More of my children Yoshis are growing up to be adult Yoshis. This is my Yoshi breeding ground where they're all laying eggs. And my toads are also eating the eggs. Oh, I'm out of booze. That's a problem. Like, why are people getting thirsty? Oh, because I probably need to make alcohol. or an, And juice, obviously. A feral Goomba is fighting with a pikeman. And it is dead. Feral Goomba, mangled corpse, is in a tree now. There goes another Feral Goomba. That's a Feral Goomba. Look at that moving mushroom. My little fat boy. Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing to meet you halfway somewhere at some point. Um, but yeah, we'd need to figure that out. Probably best to figure that out in DMs at some point. But I, I would be willing to meet you halfway somewhere. There we go. We got drinks again. Hmm. Thomo Hodic. A Bubbleanian poet. Why am I expecting this to like thaw out and you'll just fall into the water? Something else being interrupted by a feral Goomba. There's a feral Goomba. Ooh. A vile force of Koopa has arrived. Nokopa, a tough, turtle-like creature, driven to building great fortresses. Her greasy, straight white hair is extremely long. Her close-set eyes are slightly rounded. Her somewhat broad beak is hooked, and her cinnamon skin is extremely wrinkled. Are they wielding anything? They <laughs> have battle axes? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, all right, well, let's just jump down here. Um, and, uh, give us a, uh, a burrow for this room. This is the, ah, uh, room. The go hide in their room be in case of emergency. Um, pull the lever and hope it works. All right, so that closed us in. Um, <laughs> so, um, at some point my soldiers are going to come back. A lot of these fuckers can fly because they're fucking paracoopas. Oh my God. Are they just going to go vault the walls? They're just going to go fucking jump the walls, aren't they? Oh. A human pikeman is visiting. A 
Oh, huh. they're fucking shooting us. Ooh, with deadly precision too. Oh, never mind. They're on our. They're they're they. Yep, they, yeah, they jumped the walls. <laughs> they jumped the fucking walls, ladies and gents. They jumped the walls. Well, we're in trouble. Let's lock everybody inside of that burrow. Everybody get inside. People are just being found dead constantly. Ooh, there's a big old fight in the middle. I don't even know what's happening. Oh, good lord. It's just a fucking mosh pit right in front there. Fortunately, I, I do have a hospital. Many people have been found dead. We're still under siege. Where's my squads? Most of them are on the other side of the wall. Well, that's good. I'm definitely seeing some upset toads now. They're definitely stressed. It's like they're they're just fucking shooting. Okay, hold on. I need I need my squads to come home. Ooh. My furnace operator was found dead. Oh, they're back! Well, they, they seemed to um, get into a little fight. Uh, we did have a strong positional advantage. Uh, seems like nobody was lost in the fighting, though. Um, so, uh, hopefully I can tell them to go murder pretty soon. I would hope. Oh my god, all my dudes are just fucking running in and out and getting into punching matches with the Koopas. Look at all of the... Look at all the carnage! They're trying to get back in. The Koopa's just having a freak out. The Cyan Yoshi is just striking the Koopa. The Yoshi bone doctor in the upper left leg with his steel thing. The, 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 the Yoshi screams, I must withdraw. I must withdraw. I must withdraw. All right, can, can I order my squad to do stuff now? Can I tell them to... No. Nope. Um, are any of them actually back yet? Doesn't seem like it. Something just exploded. I'm assuming that was a... Um, I'm just going to turn this off because this is bad. Just let them run around and panic if they will. Because something just exploded. I'm assuming it was a bob bomb Not a cannon. Yeah, because there's a dead... There's a dead bob bomb down there. They have killed a few. One, two, three are dead. And there's a dead Yoshi. Something just exploded. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. The weapon swift stripes the Koopa... Mark's Troopa. The Koopa Mark's Troopa in the head with a large cop with her large copper helm, bruising the muscle and fracturing the skull. The force pulls the neck, tearing apart the fat and tearing apart the tendon. And the upper spine has been torn. Alright, where the fuck's my squad at? Because they're all still traveling up, although apparently the Yoshis are back. But I still can't order them to go attack these guys that are out front. And there's still like 50 some odd or like 40 some odd dudes on the map. I'm literally just waiting for my dudes to get back in. Although actually, I'll bet you the problem is this. Okay, you know what? I'm going to lock my dudes inside and open the doors. They probably can't spawn onto the map because they're trying to get to my meeting zone. That's probably the problem. Open the doors. Here they come. Well, they just got into a fight with a human. Oh, here come my dudes. Up top there. My Yoshis are fighting with the Koopas. Ooh, that doesn't look too good. Well, this is going to be the final battle up here. Yep, my captain is dead. Cool. Um, so, uh, if Wadudo, Fire Lemon has assumed the position of captain of the tactical mushrooms. Uh, and it looks like my bards are singing. Well, that's lovely. Uh, they're fighting over there with something. I'm not sure what, but they're certainly fighting with something. That or they're just regrouping to come kill us. Yeah, they're, they're regrouping to come kill us. Um, so if I jump into this... I have a new squad leader, which means I should be able to 
Just tell them to go station right there. Here goes my Axe Toad. One of my few talented Axe Toads. They're fighting with the Koopas. There's bits and pieces going everywhere. There's stuff been found dead. And I, I think we're all... <laughs> I, is that my whole squad? Uh, no, not the whole squad. Just most of them. Here comes the the some of my last few Yoshis. Uh, this Yoshi Bard is leaving. Never mind. Goodbye, boy. Uh, and then here come the Koopa Troopas. One of them's very injured. The Feral Goomba strikes the Koopa Lasher. But the shot is blocked. And the Koopa Lasher slashes the Feral Goomba. But he jumps away. Whoa! They, they're now going after my piggies. And the, let the carnage begin. <laughs> that That's... I, I You know... Chat, I think that's all, folks. <laughs> oh, everybody's been found dead. Something exploded. Bottom right. Ooh! Uh, Era Homely, Homely Hound has assumed the position of captain of the Tactical Mushrooms. Our second captain died. And the fighting continues. They're just, like, fucking puckering us full of holes over here. We, we've been attacked by uh, Koopas and Koopa Troopas. How many do I have left? Three? Oh no. Seems like this is one of my last ones. He's just like, oh god! He went outside. That was a big mistake, my dude. Who's left? One dude's one guy's left who's out here picking up stuff. He's my final captain. Picked up some weapons. He's dueling 1v1 with some uh Koopa paratroopa. They're dueling. Ooh! Got a good hit in. Hot damn, look at that. The Koopa Trooper Hammer Bros stands up. <laughs> and that's it. And a ghost spawned. This is what I wanted, yes. I mean, I've been playing this for quite a while now. Uh, we spent like two hours fiddling to get the world up and running. And this is how you, you, you finish a fortress in a mode where that you don't understand in Dwarf Fort. You want everyone to horribly die. The reason you want everyone to horribly die is because now I know that... They can fucking jump your walls and jump, like, four Z-levels in the air. So that's kind of terrifying. Happy Mario Day! I don't know what else to go from there. Anyway, your settlement has crumbled. R.I.P. Tactical Mushrooms. How'd they die? Were you not watching the last 10 minutes? We got uh, invaded by uh, Koopa Troopas. A big old fucking army of them. Violence, yes. Koop the Koopas invaded, yeah. Apparently they can jump your walls. So... And I'm not entirely certain what you need to do to make Toads strong, but I'll keep this install around. Perhaps we'll come back to it at some point. Perhaps we'll come back to it at some point. But for right now, we'll be returning to normal stuff. Very normal stuff. That's why you open up the tavern to gather an army. That's what I was doing. Um, if you, you may or may not have noticed, but I did have like two or three like military dudes running around. One that had just joined me like right before the fight happened, as well as a couple poets that had joined me. So I did have a tavern open and I had about four dudes that I'd gotten from that, but they didn't, they didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I love it when I, I lose like that intentionally. And uh, people are just like, this is why I always do this to not die. It's like, well, I did that, but <laughs> didn't help. Anyway. Sometimes it just happens. I mean, my intention was to die in violence. That that was very much the intention to was to die. That, that was the entire goal going in today, was I wanted to die to either Goombas Koopas or Shy Guys. One of one of those. And we did. So I'd say it was very successful, frankly. It was a very, very, very good 
happy-go-lucky, wonderful, hunky-dory Mario Day. Um, so, I kind of want to keep streaming, but I'm also hungry, and I feel like trash. There are no Koopas in regular DF. They're a completely new race. They're not just like a repurposed race. They're all completely new. With new behaviors, tactics, and powers, and abilities. So, I don't know. There are pond turtles and uh, large tortoises, but neither of them are an intelligent race that has uh, ranks or anything. So, that's a neat mod. It really is. World Gen's a little bumpy on the current version, but that's a neat mod. And uh, I've learned more about Mario lore today than I think I'm comfortable with. That's what I would say. I've learned more about Mario lore today than I think I'm comfortable with. Man, almost nine hours of streaming. I'm glad it was entertaining. I'm glad that it was entertaining. Gotta say, I don't really think I got any Dungeon Mans in me today, though. Certainly not. I also don't really have any puzzle games in me. Carpmen? Uh, I don't think... I know that there's f cave fish people. If there's carp people, I've never seen them. Are we talking about vanilla stuff? Because, like, if we're talking vanilla shit, I don't believe I've ever seen anything outside of cave fish people. But if you're counting cave fish people, then yes, cave fish people are a thing. Um, so, chat room. <clears throat> if you would like to support the stream directly, I have a Patreon. And I know that everybody has a Patreon and everybody shouts it out and it's a very annoying thing. But uh, all of my goals are surrounding hiding the money from the stream and just making this about the show. So help helping the Patreon directly helps that be a thing. Tomorrow we're going to work on Long Death, uh, my main playthrough. And uh, we'll play some Dungeon Mans in the evening tomorrow. Tomorrow's another news day, so keep an eye out in the morning for... A Dwarf Fortress post, unless something weird happens. But there should be some sort of news tomorrow. Also, thanks for the Prime sub. Cheers, man. Thumbs up. Thank you for the Amazon monies. It's very amazing. And it goes a long way. Seriously. Because this is sucky month for money. <laughs> for streamers. It's always been one of the slowest months of the year. It's like this in July. March and July are, like, the two crappiest months for money for me in, like, the entire history of me streaming. So, cheers. Goes a long way. Um, now that I stretched out of that out, if you want more of me, there's more of me on that YouTube channel than you could ever reasonably watch in a lifetime, including VODs, reruns, all that shit. This VOD will be going up whenever Cooler makes me a thumbnail for it. So, whenever that's made, we'll do that. And uh, till then, we got to find someone we could go give a host to. Someone who would appreciate it. Someone who's cool, ideally. Um.